Hi, everyone. Welcome back. It's been a minute. Um, I'm very much enjoying my break between season two and season three. But we all saw the news on, what was it, Wednesday, Wednesday. Thursday night? <laughs> where we're like, Margot Robbie is production house is making a Sims movie. Nah, that's bullshit. Oh, Vanity Fair is talking about it. Oh, there's some win to this. Um, so I thought it would be really, really fun to have some of the best of the best in the Sims community to sit down here today and talk about how not, not only do we feel about the Sims movie, do we think it's real? What do we think it's going to be about? And also our dream casting for our favorite townies. So thank you, everybody, for coming here today. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you for thank having you. us. Thank you for having us. Thank you for welcoming us. <laughs> so many. <laughs> uh, yes. Also, we have we have sixteen people on this call today, self included, which is also a a record breaking for this podcast. This is the biggest roundtable in the series history. This was the dream I had many years ago that we could sit and talk about Sims topics. Not only that, we're talking about the Sims movie. So before we dive in, we are going to do a quick round of introductions. Crumb Bottle Academy, welcome back, baby girl. How are you? And why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hello. They Hello. call me Crumple Bottom Academy. Just kidding. No one <laughs> calls me that. You call me Sarah. <laughs> That's easier. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So a little bit about myself. I've been on Stassi's podcast twice. Um, it's my third time. Um, second time was to interview you about the Rose Chronicles. So that was a blast. Um but yeah, I have a, a Simstagram, a Sim YouTube. Um, anything else you need to know? <laughs> no, that's perfect. That's Honestly, good. this soon as I, I saw this movie, I immediately thought of you from our conversation we had with the Rose Chronicles was we talked about our dream cast and I knew, yes. I knew that you would have a dream cast lined up and I was not going to let that opportunity pass us. So thank you, Sarah, so much for coming here today. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Simon, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Well, uh, my name is Simon. I'm also known online as Silicimits, but, um, you know, you can call me Simon. And I'm from Italy. I have a, a YouTube channel where it's all about The Sims. And that's basically it. I also host the Simmers Awards. I forgot about that. <laughs> Baby girl, how can you forget about the Simmers Awards? <laughs> Everybody in December is like talking about Simmers Awards being like, how can I get nominated? Oh my God, I was nominated. Oh my God, I won. I look forward to December every year now for the Simmers Awards. So I thank you for forget. your service. Yes, thank, thank you for thank your you. service. <laughs> Gons, welcome back, my friend. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. I miss this. I, I miss uh, this. chatting. I miss this too. I can't <laughs> wait to get into eventually back into the draft wars i have like been like do who says the first message <laughs> no, no I, you know at this at this point i'm just kind of waiting for alex to be like hey what's up i feel his life's so complicated I yeah know. so my <laughs> sorry go ahead go my ahead. name is gone no no you're good my name is gone's uh, i am a sims content creator focused more on the lore of the townies and generally of the sims uh, i'm on youtube tiktok twitch and every, everywhere i'm literally everywhere um but uh yeah i'm i'm your resident i'm your resident nerd i love that also congratulations as i literally had people sending me links asking me if the sims movie is real i scroll to the bottom <laughs> of one of them what do i see is yeah. god's tiktok about bella god yeah, and i literally yeah, I texted that. him and i was like Baby, you're famous now. <laughs> exactly. I, I need I need an agent. Yeah, this is this is big news for me. Yeah. Well, Disney Sims is your agent. Uh, she's all. Yeah, there you agents. go. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Um, He's not paying me. <laughs> How dare. Right. We also have a last minute uh, person that's joined us. A uh, Carmen. Hi. She, I don't know if she can hear us. Oh, connecting to auto. We will come back to that. Rhea, hi, welcome back. How are you? Doing well. I'm very excited to be back on. And um, I am a competitor on the Sims Build Madness 
Um, I'm in the final, so that's pretty exciting. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Your builds yeah, have good. been amazing this so season. So good. So oh, good. Just uploaded the one for the final for the PC, and I'm it's nervous. But... nuts. That build is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Any sneak peeks you want to share with us? Um, might as well, because it's good. it's out already. So um, <laughs> I did a, uh, a take on the Shoemaker and the Elves. Oh, <gasps> it's so Amazing. cute, you guys! It's so cute, so cute. I and cannot... of course the elves are played by gnomes. Ops, I can't, <laughs> I cannot wait to check this out after this podcast. But mm. welcome back, Pokey, Pokey Creative. I literally have to say, not cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I and I knew I thought it was a fifty fifty chance, so. <laughs> I was like... But yeah, you can say either, I guess, but it's technically Cokie. Uh, it looks a lot like Cookie, though. Um, but my name name is Elena, and sometimes people say Alana, so I'm kind of used to it. Mm. But yeah, anyway, I'm here for the, I don't know how many times this is, probably five, sixth time. You're, uh, like, you're like eighth, eighth or ninth. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. a couple times. So uh, just getting comfortable now. And um, pretty much everywhere I've been doing this since 2019. So I have, uh, I used to stream on Twitch, but I don't really do that anymore. But mostly on Instagram, TikTok, and I have a lot of videos in the works right now. But I'm really excited to talk about this today because I really didn't believe it when I first saw it. And I just want to know what everyone thinks because I don't even know what to think about this. So yeah, I'm excited to be here. Oh my god, I'm I'm so excited. Also, um, I guess I congratulations this week on six years of marriage. Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> I, congratulations. I years, I'm like, holy moly! Like it, how life just has been so good. Time flies when you're having fun. So, yeah, I love that. Uh, Sims Kingdom, welcome back, baby girl. It's seven sixteen in the morning. There, how are you? <laughs> oh my Hello, god. good morning. Good, good morning, morning. everyone. I'm so well and good night forever. I don't know the timelines. <laughs> I'm a bit fuzzy in the brain. I had three hours of sleep, but when I saw you're doing a podcast for this, I was like, I have to be there because as a sim a sims lover, as an actress living in LA, I took it personally. <laughs> Where is our invitation for these roles? No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> I'm really excited to be here and Sims Kingdoms. Uh, my name is Theoni and I am on Sims Instagram mainly. And then I'm coming back on Twitch. I promise it just life has been good lately in other work. Uh, but I truly, truly miss the Sims community. Cool. So I'm really happy to be here. We love you and we will welcome you back with open arms. I am loving the red carpets that you are walking on and all the projects you're working on. I am like secretly stalking you and you will be an extra in the Sims movie if I have anything to say about it. Oh so. my God. Yes. <laughs> Amy, welcome back, my friend. Hello. Hello. How are it's you? Been a while. Thank- it's been a while. Thank you so much for reaching out to me too and being yeah. like wanting to come back. I'm always scared of being like, I feel like I scare people away <laughs> for wanting to come back. So thank you for wanting to come back and participating in a round table. How how is life since the last it's time we been, talked? It's been interesting. I'm getting still getting over like a flu or something or the other unforementioned thing. <laughs> Yes, because <laughs> I lost my taste and smell, so that was fun. Um, so, but other than that, everything else has been good. I think the last time we spoke, um, we did like a Canadian podcast or something. We didn't we? we did. We celebrated Canada like last yeah. year, and honestly, <laughs> a lot of people listened to it. I had a lot of comments being like, "I want to come to Canada," and I my <laughs> response is always, "Come." We're so much fun and we will share our timbits with you and our hot chocolate. Yeah. So uh, Amy, why don't you tell us a little bit about your Sims history? But Yeah. So basically like I focus more on the building aspect of the Sims. I think I've been around around the same time Koki came in because I remember her builds and they really inspired me when I got started. So, um, but I mainly like on Instagram, I go by Elvishly Amy, um, I have YouTube. I'm doing TikTok now. So woohoo for that. <laughs> um, I'd like to get back on Twitch eventually, but, uh, and then obviously Twitter, or I guess they're calling it X now, but <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of all over the place and I just kind of do builds and stuff and 
yeah, that's kind of me in a nutshell. So I love that. Also fellow Canadian. Um, yes. <laughs> Caitlin, welcome. Hi. Is this your first time? I know Joss has been on a lot, but it is my it's my yeah it's my first time here because like I I sniped this one before Jess could come could Jess could grab it <laughs> I was like no 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 I will be the representative for the podcast this time <laughs> I have well, thoughts <laughs> well welcome I uh, want you tell us a little bit about yourself and your sims history uh, my name is Caitlin I'm no I'm a member of the under the plum bob con- uh, podcast one of like there were 15 of us at one point so like collecting us you should collect us like trading cards whenever we show up um and I do like the news episodes for the podcast mostly and I love doing like the lore episodes for the podcast so I'm excited to talk about this one for sure oh I'm very excited because if there's not like there has to be some form of sims lore in this movie I don't know if it's gonna be about Bella Goth or any of the other townies but there's gonna be something and I cannot wait for it to dive in and to hear your thoughts I hope so and Margot Robbie we trust hopefully 100 (laughs) percent um I'm going to screw up this name because I, I want to say Bezos, but that is not it. Bezo. Bezo? Bezo? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Bezo. Welcome to the first time. Hi. Hi. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Yeah, I'm Bezo. Bezo plays on like everything, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram. Um, yeah, I started my, my, my Sims community content creation journey two years ago. Um, I'm a, a Bake Off champ and a Builders Game champ as of a couple weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on winning uh, the Builders Games. It was you did such a phenomenal job. We will talk on a different podcast this week about that winky yes. face. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for coming here today, uh, Katie Sims. Hi, hi. Welcome. This is your first time. Yeah, I'm really nervous. <laughs> Do not be nervous. Do like this is going to be so much fun. I, I what I love about this pod, we have so many people's first times on here. Every it, at, at the end of this, you're going to be like, my face hurts from smiling and laughing so much. So <laughs> it actually is right now, <laughs> <laughs> and, we're, and we're only 20 minutes in. So. <laughs> exactly. Um, Katie Sims, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, first, it's an honor to meet you, Stassi. I've seen your podcast. I've seen people post you all over the place. It's an honor to be part of this. And um, second, um, my name is Kadisha, but everyone calls me Katie. I got that nickname when I was a kid, so that's why I'm Katie Sims. I have a Simstagram. I have a YouTube. And I'm trying to get on Twitch, but it's, I'm still setting it up. And I started building around 2022. And I got inspired by so many people that I'm here on, and it's really an honor. So I'm still working on stuff. I'm working on a t-shirt design for the movie. I'm really excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited to have you here. And the email you sent me this week, I was having a really rough day, and that just warmed my spirit so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you for such a kind message. I cannot wait. You're welcome. I cannot wait to hear (laughs) about all of the fun sims ideas you have for this movie um carrie sims welcome my friend hi <laughs> hi you are actually the first person i was talking to about this really <laughs> yes when you said you couldn't do noon i was like okay so what yeah. time can you do and i will work around that with everybody's time zone. oh my god that's so sweet i actually had to ask a friend of mine she's coming later i asked her to come to come like an hour later because of this <laughs> <laughs> so yeah but i'm really really excited to be here i think this is like the fourth time i'm here right now yes so, i believe so yes because yeah. you were because you were on the season finale round table correct yes yes <laughs> oh my that was like filmed like almost a year ago now that's crazy <laughs> um but carrie why don't you tell us a little about yourself yes i'm carrie i'm actually from chile so sorry about my english <laughs> uh but i'm a builder i've been playing the same since Sims one actually, but I'm starting. I started YouTube on 2019. I also have an Instagram. I have a TikTok account, and I think I have a Twitter X, whatever the name is right now, and uh, Threads as well. But yeah, I just spend I think all of my time building. <laughs> 
So I'm really excited. <laughs> I love that your builds though lately have been absolutely phenomenal. You oh, you, you have grown so much as a creator since we started thank talking you. last year. You're very welcome. <laughs> Latinos I- represent. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. As I put my hands up to represent as I am like the whitest mayonnaise. <laughs> no, está bien. Nosotros podemos hablar español. Entonces, está muy bien. <gasps> Maravilloso. <laughs> <laughs> We can, speak, we can speak Spanish. <laughs> yes. Um, Pacific Creative. Hi. 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 How are you? I'm good. I'm glad to be back. Oh my, I'm glad to have you back. How's life been? Busy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, things. Um, the, uh, the first time I was here, I think, was for Sims Legacy Hub. Yes. And it's kind of exploded in a way we weren't prepared for. Uh, in the best way possible. So Amazing. we've been kind of um, <laughs> doing a lot with that. And we have some big plans for that uh, moving forward, which will be really fun. So I can, yeah. I cannot wait to hear about that. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? All right. Well, I'm Pacific Creative, uh, Pacific for short, and I am a Sims Twitch streamer. I started oh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, I've been playing The Sims since the OG Sims. Like, I think the first year it came out was when I started playing it because I'm that old. Um, I am a judge for the Clutter Wars. I'm a co-founder of The Sims Legacy Hub. And I recently started a story over on Simstagram. So I've been keeping pretty busy. (laughs) Welcome to the Storyteller community. Um, It's a fun community to be in. It's Mm -hmm. a challenging community to be in. Yeah. but it's I'm loving it. It's it's really fun. It's fun to get to do something so different in The Sims when I've been playing for as long as I have. And I was primarily a game player for a long time. And then I was like, I really want to start finding a way to give back to The Sims community. Um, and so then I was like, well, I could start building things and putting on the gallery, especially because I started needing things for my game that didn't exist. So I was like, OK, how do I become a better builder? So then I found, you know, the the sims side of youtube which then led me to the sims side of twitch and it just it was life-changing and uh you know long story short here we are now so (laughs) i love that um noodles hey baby girl i'm also loving your look this morning i just you (laughs) came ready to play (laughs) i this is what you were gonna get for 10 a.m i'm sweatshirt and lipstick there we go (laughs) how are you hi hi (laughs) I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'm awake and alive. <laughs> so I'm here. I love that. Um, so um, also, congratulations on making it as the lead actress in my machinima. I cannot say your audition blew me away. Like I was literally at work and you were crying on command and I was crying not on command. And I wrote at work around me was like, what the fuck's wrong with her today? And I'm like, it's so good. It's so good. Um, so big congratulations. And it's been an absolute honor to work with you on this project. Um, but why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Uh, hi, I'm Noodle or, or Brittany. I'll answer to either. Um, I am a Sims content creator most of the time um, across all platforms. Um, I am on Twitch. I am a storyteller on Simstagram. Um, I'm Oodles of Noodle on most platforms, but on uh, Simstagram, I am Oodles of Sims. I also started a recent horror story in January. It's under Derailed Sims. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm mostly a storyteller, Kaz creator. I have a, a, a a catchphrase on my stream it's hot sims only um the the point is that all sims are hot sims and we're body positive in real life and in pixels um so yeah i'm i'm a storyteller most of the time and uh uh like bees i am also uh bake off royalty i won season five of the great simish bake off so that's me in a nutshell I, hi I, I, <laughs> lo- I love that for you i i am manifesting for you to become part of the ea creator network before the end of the year Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Team pending for two and a half years. <laughs> so we'll you got see. this. Yeah, you got this, honey. <laughs> I'm sure the Sims may listen to this and be like, where is where is Noodle's application? Let's get this going. Uh, but welcome back. Uh, Thank you. Carmen, welcome. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to make it. I know you weren't sure if you were going to be able to. 
Yeah, my son has a, my 10 year old has a piano performance today, but I thought it was starting at 10, but it doesn't start till a little after 11. So. Well, thank you for coming Coming on. to the car. Yes, I was going to say, a classic uh, person, a classic is always interviewing with somebody usually in the car. So I love that. Um, if you can't stay for the whole time, I completely Okay. understand. But the fact that you were able to join us for a little bit is absolutely amazing. And also welcome for being a first timer on this podcast. Um, Thank why don't you you. tell I'm so nervous. us, why don't you tell us a little about your Sims history? <laughs> um, I've been playing since the first Sims came out. My brother got it for me. He was like, hey, I think you'll really like this game because I've been playing games, I don't know, since video games were invented. <laughs> so, And he was like, and ever since then, I've loved it. I've been a player for most of the time. And then um, my sister-in-law was like, your bills are always amazing. You should start a YouTube channel. And I started one. And then um, I found it. I found Instagram and then I found Angel. She's awesome. And she invited me to all this. And the community has been so lovely. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Amazing. you guys are amazing. <laughs> Oh, you are amazing. And thank you so much for wanting to be here today. I I can't wait to hear a little bit more of like what your thoughts are going to be on the Sims movie. Yeah, um, they have to make them wash dishes in the sink. I mean, they have to go to the bathroom sink. I'm not watching it. I want to I want to sim in the background <laughs> washing dishes in the bathroom sink. If I don't yeah. see that, then the person making the Sims movie has never once played the Sims. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> um disney sims baby girl welcome back for the 46th time <laughs> what i up what up how are you my my sister from another mister um i'm i okay i'm currently um getting over covid hope i don't give it to you uh, <laughs> i'm court aka the disney sims aka towny tales and yeah i've been an og simmer um mostly do storytelling on simstagram but i do build by mode in real life because i'm an architectural drafter and That's a little bit about me. A uh, judge on the Builder Games. Congrats, uh, Bezo. And uh, yeah, excited to be on here with my friends. I have so many people on here that I know it's so exciting and can't wait to talk about the movie. I cannot wait to hear about all of your thoughts. Um, last, but certainly not least, Angel, how are you? I am good. I am very excited to be here. A bit nervous because social anxiety, you know, but we are alive and happy to be here. I, I, I'm so excited that you joined this podcast. I know you're, 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 you're gonna, your simmer spotlight in season three is probably gonna be one of the, the top listens to. You were one of the most requested guests for me to interview for season three. I was so surprised about that because I'm fairly new to the community. Um, I literally took a deep dive in last uh, May. So it's almost a year now. And I was like, me? On the interview? I'm like, no, she must be joking. Like, absolutely joking. And yeah, it was such a great interview. you So much fun. you are such an integral part to the sims community especially on instagram you are loved by many and everybody wants to get to know you a little bit more um it was it was a great privilege to do a written interview with you and i cannot wait for later in the year when we will do a simmer spotlight when i get to sit down one-on-one -on -one with you and get to know the ins and outs of angel but before that why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself Uh, so yes, I am Angel of the Night Creations. Um, I've been part of the Simmers community since last May, so I haven't been here that long. Um, but uh, as of many may know, I've started a Simmers community and I also recently started to stream on Twitch. Uh, all my friends, I've been a mod for them for so many years, for almost three and a half years now. Uh, and I decided, no, I'm never going to stream. And then this year I decided, well, why not just do it? Um, and yes, I see so many names in this list that are an absolute inspiration to me. Like I am like fangirling at the moment, seeing all these amazing series in this, in this call, in this group. And I'm like, 
I I want to be like all of you one day, you know? So it's like, I'm so excited to be part of this. And I'm really excited about this movie. But if I'm not seeing the Green Reaper with floaties on his arm, stealing souls out of the pool, I'm not going to watch this movie at all. <laughs> right? Or I want a burglar, like Sims 1, burglar with the burglar music, okay? Yes. If I don't get that, <laughs> no movie. No. No. No, we're not allowed to move if not if that's not gonna be part of it. No, <laughs> exactly. Well, welcome everybody. Can't, like that was like twenty minutes of inter- introducing everybody. For everybody must count. There is now seventeen of us on this roundtable, which is crazy. Now let's dive in. So we all saw the news, obviously this week, as we've all said. We are like, oh, this movie could be real, might not be real. When picked up quick. Like, it was like, nope, Margot Robbie's producing this. Uh, her production house is producing it. And the director who does Loki is, at this point, tied to this project. What was everybody's thoughts when we saw the news go live? And Sarah, I'll let you go first. Uh, Well, okay, Stasi, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I've been burned a lot. Um, I know that I know that you're a big Degrassi fan. I'm just kidding. Stassi hates Degrassi, <laughs> but I'm still reeling from the uh, failed Degrassi reboot. So I'm I'm still trying not to get my hopes up. But I don't know if you can see. I have a a, a gif of Drew Carey trapped um, in a uh, fence. And that's kind of how I'm going into this feeling like I'm feeling like the movie, like if we can't get it to happen, we have to like trap all of these celebrities who are making these promises. (laughs) Um, So, yes, as as I stated, I'm going in with mixed feelings. In violence. (laughs) Yes. Yes. And violence. (laughs) I I, pay. I kind of feel the same way. Until a script is seen, until we know that obviously Margot's probably gonna play Bella, just throwing that out there. Like, no, what? No, no, nope. uh-uh, nope. no, I don't see that happening. That's not, that's no. not gonna happen. Yeah, no. No. Really? Mm-hmm. No. No. no, no, she hasn't been in She's every gonna movie. gonna play then. Goopy Gills Carbo, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> the role she was born to play. <laughs> no, no. Well, we just all went after Stassi hard. Yes, like, I know. She's I, a little I, back. She's it's our like, podcast. Oh. Now. I'm, I'm, like, I'm getting <laughs> with a young niece. I, I see a coup happening here. Holy shit! <laughs> okay. It's just, it's just it not. In, it's just not in her. It's not in her character. It, it's, no. it's not in her range. No, I take not. her more as like a as a Caliente sister. Rather yeah, than absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. like, or like, in the worst case, like Nancy Landgraf. Nancy. Like yeah. Oh, Nancy. she could yes. Nancy, Nancy though. Yeah. Or Judith. Yeah. Judith Ward. Or Judith. Judith Ward. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I agree to everybody. What everyone just said. Um, we will talk about casting in a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. but I, I again, like until I see a script, I'm yeah. very hesitant because there was a Sims movie. That was supposed to go into production back in 2009, mm. which was completely forgot about. And ne- it would get, just kept wow. getting in turnaround and turnaround and turnaround. It would have so, been so bad. I know. If it didn't happen. <laughs> but this, it this, was, this, was, this was like Spider-Man 2 era. Like, we're, mm-hmm. we're, we're good it didn't happen. <laughs> and the guy who was in charge of writing it has made such things as The Secret Life of Pets and the Minions movie. So <laughs> we were probably safe from yes, that. A hundred percent. Um. Simon, what are your yeah. thoughts? Well, I I would definitely am going to wait a little bit more. I want to see I, I, the script is not enough. I need like picture from production before okay. I'm like, okay, this movie is getting made because I want to be sure. Um, but um, I am kind of excited because like it's an uh, the franchise is obviously like huge for me, so. Uh, this, knowing the production company that's behind it and other movie that worked on last year, you know, the Barbie movie. Um, it, I'm very excited. I'm I'm kind of hopeful, but I'm like waiting. I want to want to make sure that they're making it before. Like, yeah, no, of course. And like, like 
something I was ex- nothing to do with Sims, but I was very excited for the Lizzie McGuire reboot. I don't know if anybody else oh, yeah. on this call yeah. was excited for the Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> I remember you told me about this. Yeah. There, there was pictures on the set. There were scripts. Mm-hmm. They had filmed episodes, and they still pulled the plug. So mm-hmm. it doesn't matter how secure of getting a set photo is or getting cast. At any time, there can be project turnover. Um, but and I hope if they do do project turnover with this, I hope it's for a good reason. And I hope it's for, it's not because daddy EA wants to push more shit into that. That doesn't make sense. And I hope they really do pay homage to the Sims players that have been playing this game for 20 yeah. years. So, um, Gons, mm. hi, what are your thoughts? Hi. hi. I, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to ruin everybody's day. <laughs> I think a little bit, but um... do it. <laughs> yes. So, so I, I made a video about this, but, um, the thing we need to we need to set things into perspective, right? So the the movie itself has been given um like it's it's in production, but like a studio hasn't actually picked it up. So we can't actually confirm that it's gonna be made or not yet. That's the first yeah. thing that we need to be sure, right? Uh, yeah. but chances are it will be picked up. Um the the second thing is that um EA, unlike Nintendo, probably is actually gonna have no say in this film. Like they probably sold the rights to the films and now they're just like, they're not doing anything. And it's actually one of the reasons why I thought this wasn't real because EA didn't say anything. Like why would EA not take like the opportunity in the marketing decision to be like, oh my God, guys, we're going to be making a movie and Margot Robbie's production. Like they didn't say a thing. Right. And that's, that's curious. Now, whether they're not involved or not, that's up to you to decide whether that's a good thing or not. Um, But uh, I'm excited. I'm I'm excited. I don't think it's going to be a towny movie. I don't think it's going to be a lore based movie. Um, I think it's going to be uh, what I said in my video is that it's just going to be like, you know, a a, a random towny f- realizes that they're a sim in a world yeah. and they need to figure out like what's going yeah. on and and like you're going to see like cameos and stuff like that. But I don't think it's going to be a lore movie as much as I want it. I don't think it's going to happen. So, have you seen Westworld? Yes. Okay. Because as soon as I saw your video, I'm like, he is describing the Loris in Westworld. <laughs> yeah, no, Truman Show, Westworld, yes. um, Free, Free Guy. Free Guy. Yeah, Free Guy. Yeah, Free guy. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so they, they've made it already. But, I, you know, they're going to go safe. I don't think they're going to do it. I, I just don't see it. I, I kind of think the same thing. That's the first thing I mm. thought of. I was like, so is it going to mm. be like Bella Goth becomes Senate and be like, I got to go? Because like... <laughs> I'm really tired of people killing me or doing this <laughs> weird things to me, or mm. I don't, I don't want to be with Mortimer anymore. Like I just kind mm. of like, I'm really curious with that. Um, I, ch- I ch- truly do hope though, that it will be a lore movie at some aspect of whatever it is. And if it's not going to be mm. a movie, if I get, if it, the studios don't pick it up, like, can it be picked up as a TV show? Like literally right. anything. Right. Right. Because honestly, yeah. In my opinion, I think a TV show would be better than a movie because mm-hmm. then we would have eight to 12 hours to be able to dedicate to this project instead of, I don't know, like, it, could you make a Sims movie three hours? I don't, I, I think you could, but would people care enough to sit in a theater for three hours to watch a Sims movie? I, I don't know. Right. So yeah, I it's, when it's... you said, oh, sorry. Go ahead, no, please, no, go ahead, go ahead, please, please. When you said television show, my brain went to the good place for some reason is what kind of sure, vibe yeah. it would be. Mm-hmm. Is that kind of self-awareness, but yeah. also point, a pointed point, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a good, that's a good point because um, the, the movie, again, the, the, sin, like if we look at it from a, a branding and a marketing perspective, the Sims is, has historically always been predominantly like a female market for lack of a better word. Right. So they're unlikely to make like a, um, like an action movie of the Sims because it's not going to be popular enough to like warrant that. Right. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot like Barbie where they're going to do like a very sort of introspective, like emotionally driven, uh, thought provoking piece. Right. Which is why mm-hmm. I continue to believe it's going to be about free will because yeah. that's, that's like the, the, the core of the messaging, not, Hey, let's build a house and be cute. Like, I don't think Marbo Margot Robbie would be that superficial, you know? So yeah. I, I agree. Um, also before I move on, move on to Rhea, 
So you said like EA hasn't stepped out and said anything. They also right. haven't denied it either. So a little That's devil's true. advocate, right? I, I mean, That's true. That's true. if if they would come out and say, like, it, obviously everybody and their mother has seen that. Like CNN was talking about <laughs> it. Like my local <laughs> London, Ontario channel was talking about the Sims movie. Like there's no right. stone unturned anymore. So EA mm -hmm. could have just came out and said, no. Mm, so right they've had mm. they've had a couple days so i'm very curious to see and i i honestly gods i do i do agree with you i do think it will be a oh my god i'm real i think the only thing i'm really concerned of and please play this back in like five years when this movie comes out i think it's going to be a carbon copy of barbie that is my yes, one fear probably. i do have yeah. because yes. yeah. margot yeah, robbie yeah. now knows the success is good fish out of water gotta go to our world come back to our i truly do think it will be a carbon copy so yeah yeah, yeah the, the whole movie needs to be in simlish with subtitles yes. okay be amazing <laughs> my, my mom asked me if the movie was gonna be in simlish and i'm like mom yeah. i don't work for ea I don't, like, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Yeah, there's a TikTok of somebody doing like a whole like yeah, I saw you could that. tell they were talking about yeah. the movie, but it was all in Simlish. And like all the comments were like, it took me so long to figure out what you were doing. <laughs> but that was something I also thought of because they don't speak English. So no. like are, are, are all of the signs and all of the posters and everything, is that going to be in Simlish or is that going to be in English? Or is that going to be in other languages kind of throughout the world? Are they gonna make different movies for different regions of the world i'm curious kind of like they did with i think it was zootopia so i my oh. big concern with that though is like part of the point of the movie is to introduce the sims to a new audience mm -hmm. people who don't know about the sims so i think yeah. you might see pieces of simlish but i don't know that that's going to be a really predominant piece of the movie i think that's going to be like a little uh easter egg they throw in for those of us who play the game because even though the franchise itself is huge right like mm -hmm. i even with like you know with sims legacy hub i was really blown away by how many people signed up because i was like i knew a lot of people played this game i didn't really realize even though i'm part of this you know amazing creator uh network i didn't i it, the amount of people that play the game yeah. has blown my mind yes. so it's not totally surprising that they would come out and say hey we, you know we want to capitalize on this you know big audience and make it even bigger um and i don't think ea has any reason to say no don't do this because it's just it you know what do they say like no publicity is bad publicity Mm -hmm. it's just going to make them even more well known especially because the base yeah, game is free now so more right. people are probably going to play yeah. but I think it's a way to introduce sims you know you're going to have sims players who take their non-sim player friends and spouses oh, and family to yeah. see this movie <laughs> so putting it in simlish I think would end up being a huge mistake because yeah. it's going to fall short on a lot of people I want the director's no, cut. Though. Agree. Yeah. That director's, director's cut. cut yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Original Simlish. And if I do yeah. not see Katy Perry or Christina Aguilera <laughs> in their respective <laughs> roles, <laughs> and Drew Carey. We have and Drew, no, so, Drew Carey. I, hope, yeah. I feel like Drew Carey would reprise that. That's something I think Drew Carey would do. He's like, yeah, I'll oh, stand no, in offense. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. But I, I think I think that to that point, we have to remember that The Sims is like quite literally like a pop icon right mm -hmm. yeah. because yeah, that when that game came out sims one and two it was like one of 10 games that existed you yeah. know what i mean <laughs> so like so every everyone knew about the sims and if you say the word the sims everyone knows what you're talking about mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. so they're they're gonna focus on that but like if you were to say oh my gosh you know the vator twins everyone's gonna be like who right yeah, like yeah. unless yeah. unless you're in like the sims community you don't know that you know what I mean? But you do know The Sims, right? And it's huge. And people will watch videos about that. And it's it's crazy. So I could not agree more. Rhea, what were your thoughts when you saw the news this week? Um, I had a lot of different thoughts. Um, one of them is kind of uh, relating to what My Name is Gone said about like potential plot lines or whatever, because The Sims is really a game without a plot you know it's not like uh silent hill or whatever it is that you know they make a movie and it it's a repetition of the plot of the game or something 
Um, but I was like, okay, I could only think of two things that they could possibly do. And I was like, okay, it's either going to be lore or it's going to be for anime fans, isekai, where a real person is playing The Sims, they clonk their head on their computer and the next thing they know, they wake up in The Sims. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's okay. Reverse. That's actually, that's Reverse. Actually, that's I actually, like that. that oh, that's a neat idea. Yeah. Um, because I figured then that that's like a, a very common trope for like, you know, introducing, you know, the audience into, you know, a novel situation. You have a person from the audience's world introduced into the situation to be the, um, you know, the insert character, the, you know, self-insert character. So that, I love that, that idea. Was, I've, kind of, was, that, was, was it like Pleasant View? Was that, 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 that the was that, that the movie that. where the two teens went into the black and white? Pleasantville. Yeah, yeah Pleasantville. Yeah, Pleasantville. Yeah. We're like actually, Page Master yeah. vibes. Yeah. What? Yeah, so what? That was my like primary. The Page Master. Do you remember that? Oh, one? The yeah. Page Master. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Page Master. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're also we're also assuming yeah we're assuming that this movie is going to be like live action. It yeah. could very well be like 3D and stuff. Like we don't, Excellent. we don't know. That's what I was wondering about. Like, could yeah. it be a live action or could it be an animated version? Or like, it's it's not specifically specified that's going to be a live action. So it could go yeah. many ways at the moment. Mm -hmm. If DreamWorks picks it up, it's going to be a 3D movie. It'll <laughs> be good. <laughs> right? It would be interesting if that will happen. But DreamWorks, yeah. it's a bit <laughs> concerning. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three months has some good stuff. Um, it's true too. They yeah. go up and down. Prince of Egypt was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, my true. god. How to train yes. your dragon. Exactly. Um, but <laughs> my other thought was, are they going to make it a general Sims movie or a Sims 4 movie? It, it oh, I think it'd be general, yeah. personally. Mm, yeah. Probably Agreed, general. Though. Yeah. That that's something that they're, I they're, they're was moving, considering too. Yeah. <laughs> they're moving into like Project Renee or whatever. Yeah. So why would they backtrack like that? You know, and go, oh, let's focus on the Sims 4 and make that big. What if this is so. Project Renee? What if they switch gears? And this is, <laughs> this is what Project Renee is. Cool. Yeah, that's that's the other day. <laughs> They're like, no one will actually play this Project Renee, or whatever we show. Let's sell it to Margot Robbie and make a movie out of it. And at least try to recoup some of our budget. Margot oh, Robbie will know God. what to do. The only thing we know about Project Renee is you could put pillows on the couch, so. Exactly. So let's see exactly. if we can make a plot line out of that. And that it's mobile, yeah. I mean, builders will be drooling, so it's fine. Yeah. Um, I think that um there's there's this uh, a huge market though for nostalgia right like yeah. nostalgia is a huge huge market especially with millennials like let's face it our you know we we love the things that we you know we loved as kids so it wouldn't make sense for them to focus solely on sims 4 because some people who only played sims 1 or sims 2 are also going to want to see this and they're going to want to see things that they know and recognize yeah I mean, Which they is... could have a moment where they go from, you know, like even if it is, it is Sims 4 or like Project Rene, they could be like, you know how they always get sucked like for like three minutes. And it's like, we're in Sims 1, we're in Sims 2, 3, 4. Who oh, we're back to where we were, you know? Doing like, all the timelines. All which that, yeah, no, honestly, like that was seeing that the Loki team is getting involved and like how Loki's mm -hmm. been all timelines. I'm like, what if we like, do we see all versions of Bella Goth in one room at the same time? Because that we're could be like, neat. oh my God. Oh god, the Sims is part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how it's gonna oh save. God. They're part of the Secret Wars timeline. <laughs> Bella Goth All right, well, Tom Hiddleston for Bella timeline. Goth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I, but I, I thought I thought Deadpool was Marvel Jesus though. But all right. <laughs> but this Goth is this is the be best time to make it. This is the best time to make it because um, film companies have realized that they can't try to out ridiculous movies like with like Wolverine. Remember the X-Men, right? Like they, they did everything like, oh, let's not yeah. put them in their original costumes. That's ridiculous. And now it's like you better put Wolverine in that yellow, stupid blue costume or else no one's <laughs> going to watch it. And you, you know what I mean? Make it work. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So like so we're, we're in that era where they're going to embrace everything and they're gonna go oh we're gonna go into if sul sul is not the first word in the trailer they will have oh. failed yes, all right exactly. like that that is that is the new absolutely... I have, Barbie. 
Exactly. <laughs> so, so. exactly. I feel like that'll be the cultural reset that's seeing yeah. um, the, the screenshots from Barbie where the first time we yeah. saw Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling in those like rollerblading uh-huh. outfits. Yeah. Like as yeah. soon as yeah. so, so will be like, <gasps> it's happening. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, I think the perspective of where there's a human playing and then they, like they said, you fall asleep, you know, like, I don't know who watches animes, but like Isekai and they wake up and now they're a sim, Mm -hmm. you know, and they're like, oh my God, somebody's controlling me. I think that would be. Yeah. Expanding on that, it feels like they would do something like, oh, the world's in trouble. So like we've built this simulation that you now have to like Avatar, where you now have yes, to go yes. in and like like figure out how to like save the world save or something. World. Some, <laughs> yeah. Something That's like that. Very cool. Cool. Oh, like ready for one. one. Yeah, exactly. Ready so, one. Yeah. You gotta make yeah. these crystals so you don't fall asleep. Let's go. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, what if they could hop in and out? So oh. like Mm-hmm. You can go in and then you can like money like cheat yourself. Yeah. And you can bring yeah. stuff in the game into reality and then it starts like blending. Blending, yeah, that'd be cool. We should that write this be. movie. Yes. Exactly. That's what it is. I, I've, I've already yeah. messaged my, my uh, EA rep and I'm like, I need to be part of this movie. I don't know what that, and, and, and she's like, you're ridiculous. And I'm like, I need to be part of this movie. You don't understand. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I think that there's another twist that they could take, though. And Gons, I hadn't thought about it until it was what mm-hmm. you said. You said mm-hmm. the majority of Sims players are predominantly female. Yeah. You're not wrong. The other mm-hmm. industry that's predominantly female is true crime. So true. what if they true. did it where it was like, you know, they're they're trying to solve this crime. Well, you know, because people are drowning in pools because ladders are disappearing. <laughs> Horror movie. You know, so really, it's a twist <laughs> because the player... Is the is the serial killer? Oh, wow. oh that, that interesting! Is good idea. Idea. I like that. that. I was yeah. Interested. Uh, about fourteen years ago, and I had to double check the timeline. Uh, College Humor released a Sims horror movie trailer, oh, I and that. it's my favorite video <laughs> on the internet to this day because there's a, a cop standing at the fence going, "There's no conceivable way to get past this fence," and it's just the funniest thing. There's two people in the pool. And they are like, they turn for a second. They're like, where'd the ladder go? And it's super dramatic. And I think a Sims horror film would be incredible. Yes. <laughs> Personally. Mary Parody. Pleasant trying to just trying to figure out what happened in, to Bella Goth and then yes. uncovering yes. all this other all stuff. That, in the yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah it, it's a. Uh... So you guys, if you guys remember the Lego movie, like it yes. was cute how like the universe yeah. was Lego mm-hmm. and like the rules of Lego was in place. So yeah. I'm confident that the movie is going to be like, they're going to build a house in like five seconds. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's just, yes. real, yep. and it'll just be done. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's absolutely what they're going to do. Rent us a And then they here. suddenly get $50,000 yeah. out of nowhere. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But yeah. I also, I also need like houses that are like super all detailed and then like a house next to it. That's a box with like yeah. yes. the, the pre-placed yeah. windows and everything. 100%. That's the yes. worst oh, house you've ever seen. That was so much fun. <laughs> Also, I if I don't see a loading screen between each scene, I'm gonna oh, lose stop. my Instead mind. of a fade, it's a loading <laughs> screen. By moving them yeah. somewhere. Yeah. 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 And it just it just says okay. Like, okay. you know, okay. <laughs> free earbuds? Question mark. Beware I don't of want free earbuds. earbuds. <laughs> I have to go. Greg. I'm so sorry, guys, but I oh, have to go. My son's performance oh, is starting. It was yes, so much fun. It was so nice. It was nice meeting bye. you. Bye. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Later. Bye. Bye. But that's that's my hope. I hope it's like I hope it's ridiculous, right? In like the best mm-hmm. way, ridiculous. You know yes. what I mean? Mm-hmm. The Lego Can't movie be. was ridiculous. Bam, uh, Barbie was pretty ridiculous, all things considered, yes. right? But it had like a message, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And I'm and I'm really hoping that that's what we see with the Sims movie. Like I want it to be quirky, silly, um, you know, just make it really funny. Um, and I think that that would be like the the best way if they actually went to like seriousness and stuff. I do think it would be kind of cringe a little bit potentially. And we're like, uh, I don't know about that, you know. So the woman, uh, Kate Heron, who's mm-hmm. also attached to it, besides do- she's most well known for Loki because it's Disney right. and Marvel. But I guess other things she's known for is female led comedies. Okay. So that would lean into which I don't I've not seen them because yes. they're all shorts. But mm-hmm. um, that would lead into also what her product, Margot Robbie's production company really focuses on is like female-led yeah. stuff. 
So that would really double down on what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, we got to keep moving on. I got to, I, we're like no, a please. quarter of the way <laughs> of, of the first question. <laughs> Koki, what was your reaction to seeing this news go live this week? Oh, first of all, I didn't believe it because I'm a part of these like Facebook groups and people always post like AI yes. stuff. So I was like, okay, it's just another AI thing. Um, but then when I actually saw it on like today, I went on YouTube and like checked actual clips to see and I believed it. So um, I thought, does Robert Margie, oh my God, sorry, I cannot talk. Does she play The Sims? I want to know that because yeah. like, what made her choose it? I, I mean, that's just a thought that popped in my head. Um because I think if she has played before, it could be like a really good passion project. And I really believe that she could create something. I mean, I know she'd be working with a group of people, but like, I want to know what went behind the decision of making a movie because I was a huge fan of Uncharted, still am. And if anyone has seen the Uncharted movie, for me, I I told myself I'm going to like it no matter what, because I like Uncharted. And then as the movie ended, I was like, yeah, sure, I like it. And then it, I... I just kept lying to myself saying I liked it until about a year later. I'm like, I didn't like it. I didn't. And I'm yep. afraid it's going to be the same thing. Like I want to like this so bad. Cause it's like, I've been playing since 2000, since I was seven years old and it's been a huge part of my life. And I have all these Easter egg ideas that I keep making up my head. I'm like, Oh, wouldn't it be cool if they added gnomes? Wouldn't it be cool if they did like a llama running through somewhere, but then I'll see the movie and it won't meet my expectations. Cause I've already built it up so much in my head. So, yeah, that's just what I, I mean. I'm thinking a thousand miles a minute because everyone's talking and I'm just getting all these ideas. <laughs> while we're talking. I think I think, yeah, Uncharted's <laughs> mistake number one was hiring like the most twink person for Nathan Drake. In Tom I Holland. know. Yeah, I, I, I like that. I like him, but he's not right, he was not right for that role. No, no, like, no. He's too polite. He's too late. He's like, oh, sorry about that. No, no he's he's no, go no. he's gorgeous, but he's yes. not yes. he's not Nathan Drake. No, no. You know he's gonna be an asshole a little bit, and he's just not that. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Nathan Drake is like rugged. And so you know, like like yeah, absolutely. We're gonna What's we're gonna diverge into a whole other topic there. Yeah, wasn't yeah, Nathan yeah. Fillion supposed to be it at one point? Time. Yes, that would have been. That, that would have been that's cool, but yeah. And, yeah, he is exactly who I would imagine. He was the right age of what I would imagine too. And I know they wanted to do something younger. So going into The Sims, I go, <laughs> what if I have like who I want to play these characters, and it's someone so different? I just yes. cannot even wrap my head around it. So yeah, <laughs> that's how I feel. No, I I, I kind of <laughs> feel the same way. And I, that that was one of the first things I thought of when mm -hmm. I was like reading the new, like trying to read more of it when I was on the bus to work, and I was like. So Margot Robbie is Sim player? Like, is the director yeah, a Sim player? Play? Like, I, uh -huh. I understand. Like, I was reading articles like, oh, like, she found her niece, niche kind mm -hmm. of finding uh, nostalgic stuff from 2000s kids' childhoods. But there are yeah. other aspects that you could have picked as well. Like, I, the first thing that came to mind was, like, Neopets. Oh, oh Penguin. Yeah. God, Neopets. That would have been oh, great. Oh, God, I spent way too much time on Neopets. So, so Polly like Hawk I still have an active Neopets <laughs> oh, account for the record. I, they're love, all just starving. They don't die. They just starve. They starve. Forever. Yeah. But Which like, is the only reason I still have an active account because they haven't died. <laughs> My poor Neopets. <laughs> but the, I who said Polly Pocket? I agree. I'm like, we're gonna see Groovy Girls, a brat, yes. an, a, another reboot of Brats. Brats. Yeah. Um, Polly Pocket, Strawberry Shortcake, um, a Furby horror oh movie, a Furby horror movie <laughs> that has to happen. If I, I like Gremlins, yeah. but better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So she is so, so Margot Robbie. Yeah, Margot Robbie is a gamer. Like that. That came out in 2023. She does play okay. games, but there's no evidence that she's like a Sims player. But mm -hmm. chances are she is. Billie Eilish yeah. is a is a Sims player. So I mean, if you really for another song. If you really yeah. think about it, and Zendaya, Zendaya oh, plays The Sims. That's hey. true. Yeah. Or she does. She's awesome. If, if you really think about it, The Sims is kind of the Barbie version of video games. Yeah. It's my it, dollhouse. It's, it's not your yeah. dollhouse. Yeah. It's my dollhouse. Yeah. 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 So Very true. It kind of makes sense uh, mm -hmm. for lots of reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, Sims Kingdom, what were your thoughts? I was I was like I have this big but I'm gonna wait for my turn but it, yeah it's the perfect timing so <laughs> I um I saw it 
I believe it to tell you the truth, like the, from the first post I saw, I don't know why, but I am petrified. I am so scared. I have never been so hopeful and so terrified at yeah. the same time in my life. Because listen, I've been to my fair share of professional sets and I've heard things that I am, I know, I'm really scared. Um, I feel like the Barbie, it was amazing, right? And I really hope that because Margot is there, it's not going to be a copy paste of that movie. At the same time, I'm like, do they even know about The Sims storytelling community? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, are they even aware of like these different groups of people that love these stories? And my biggest fear and the thing that I can never get past, I mean, except if I see it and like, you know, it's amazing, is that The Sims is such a storytelling tool for everyone, creator or not, right? Because before mm -hmm. I was a creator, I had my legacies and stuff that it's so individualized that I cannot think of what they could do that would get us to be satisfied at the baseline. Because if it's lore, ever has a different opinion, they cannot make it like a... You know, and then what are they going to do? The universe of madness and have like all these alternate things that maybe touch something. But then if they do something that's completely not lore based, then why do it in the Sims? You know, you have free guy and all these other things. I So I'm like, whatever they do, I'm and I end up broken hearted and I'm going to like, not hate watch it, but like upset watch it. <laughs> upset watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're so extra. You're so extra. <laughs> I, girl, I, I imagine. So much. I imagine watching it with my poor, poor husband that did not sign up for really. <laughs> And every two seconds, be like, pause the movie. Okay, so what the. <laughs> I, 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 I agree with you. More. And then they're going to be like, you're in the theater, Theoni, you have to stop. <laughs> yeah, it, no, I, I, I agree. Oh, sorry. I agree. Yeah. I, I just no, no, no. I'm just that. Okay, listen, there's one thing. When the castings for background people come out, <laughs> if I do book one, you better believe I'm gonna watch that part again and again. You know what I mean? Oh, we'll 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 all we'll all we'll all post you nonstop. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, but it's class. exactly. Yeah. So there's um to 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 give some perspective, um, for those of you who are who are maybe not interested in it, but they made a Five Nights at Freddy's movie, right? Mm -hmm. Um, which is a, yeah. a gaming franchise, yeah. and the creators knew that if they mess this up it would be a problem, right? So they actually reached out to famous content creators like Matt Pat from Game Theory or whatever to actually, or Markiplier, to actually review the script and mm. like give like their like, you know, blessing of like, yeah, this is okay. So they were very cognizant of that. So if I they even- I have words from Pat and Markiplier. Exactly, that exactly. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> but like, but like if, they, if, they were to, if they were to do a Sims lore video, I would sincerely hope that they would talk to like creators about it. Like, I mean, I'm a good AKU, talk to AK. Yeah, yeah. No, You're just like, plugging yourself, other... but okay. <laughs> exactly, exactly. No, but like, but what I mean is like, don't, like, don't, if EA is like, oh, talk to the Sims gurus, no hate EA, but like, yeah, not they're the not Sims all gurus. perfect. Yeah, please don't, <laughs> don't go to them, please. Like go to other people who are like known in the community for that. And then you'll be okay. You know what I mean? So. Hopefully we'll do that. There's a way you know your job and there's a way you know the thing that you do in your free time. And I think exactly. giving it to people who do it for their job would be a mistake as opposed mm, to right. us who being like, well, I, yeah. I played this 15 million times. So this is wrong. <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Agreed. And it's different when you do it as your job versus something you do as a hobby. Like when you do it as a hobby, you do it because you love it. And if you do it for your job, you may have started loving it, but over time you might learn to resent it and it doesn't, it doesn't hit the same. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. They're going to use all of this information in the monologue, guys, that they're going to make. <laughs> Everybody tells their own story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Grace grade out to this as we're like literally talking. Um, I, I am hoping to be an extra. I feel like all of us want to be extras on this. I do hope they put the casting call out 
for all simmers. They have a Discord channel now, which I hear is garbage, but whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, oh, I will send you the link when it's I find it. it. Okay. Right, and if they did something like Free Guy, where they had the sim- like the the streamers like kind of cameo throughout the film, mm-hmm. um, talking about Free Guy, like that would be that would be kind of fun. Uh, oh, you don't I'm, you don't I'm think Kelsey you- and Peachy K and James Turner mm-hmm. and Little oh, yeah, the Simsy, big the big ones, Lil Sim- L- yeah, Little Simsy is gonna be like uh, Eliza Pancakes. I'm telling you that right now, like, she's gonna be Eliza Pancakes. So um, <laughs> that's gonna she's happen. Gonna a hot dog. <laughs> 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 you know, a small thing though that I have a fear. I know it's really pre-production, right? Which is actually good timeline-wise, mm-hmm. but I am a little bit worried because we are like, you know, it was like the actor strike before, but now we're like in the more of the production time mm-hmm. where I'm like, how about we do it next year? You know, like I know we're still like writers' room point but i'm like but who's organizing the writer's room you know so yeah that's that's one fear that i have but i'm so ready for sims at the oscars 2025 <laughs> everybody with plum bob fashion yes the red bob, carpet yeah. <laughs> yes exactly CC outfit. that's how i'm gonna go on the red carpet with broken CC outfit yes. Right. I'm looking forward to my plum bob popcorn bucket. <gasps> oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> um, can, can you imagine if Disney picks it up, the amount of merch we would finally have? Oh, to goodness. To us? Oh, my oh, my God. God. Mm-hmm. I live in Orlando. I'll go to Hollywood Studios and just pick everything up for everybody. Just like yes. mo me money, and I'll just would, start picking. Stuff. It would just airdrop to us if we ordered. Done. It. Exactly. Here in two days. Yes. <laughs> Do you ship to Canada? I'm just yes, asking. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. There's like three Canadians there. on this call. <laughs> I'm in Michigan. Just hop over here, and I can, I'll throw exactly. it over the water. Exactly. Yes, and, and I yeah, I'm I'm also on the border up in Washington, so you could just yeah. Even Beautiful. better. I got the East Coast border. <laughs> yeah. We got, we're we covered. got you covered. <laughs> we'll get a little yeah, boat I'm for on the, the water. Other side of the Detroit border <laughs> yes. on the Canadian side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Um, moving on. Amy, <laughs> how were your thoughts when the news came out? Um, when I first heard about it, I was like, I don't know if this is real or not. Like, I thought it was just like a bunch of baloney. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then I looked more into it and I was like, oh, I guess this is real. So, but I think like I, I really agree with like what Gons is saying. Like, I really want something with lore in it. And I don't think they're gonna be doing that because I think that's just gonna be too big of like shoes to fill, you know, like this is like a really big franchise, right? And a mm-hmm. really big fan base. And I think you have to really specifically do it correctly or you're just gonna mess the entire thing up you know what I mean so I think like if they go too serious with it people aren't gonna really grasp it and like the you know the entire sims franchise is it's quirky it's silly it's not like serious you have all these random weird things that always happen in the world all the time that make no sense right yeah and I push up push up at random times yeah yeah so like I feel like (laughs) they have to have that in there for it to kind of capture like the essence or the spirit of the sims you know like it has to have that um I guess like magic you know what I mean like there's something about the sims that is magical and wonderful that people just love right and I'm just really hesitant to kind of get too excited because you can really screw this up. So I just feel like they have to be super careful with it. Um, And like, I didn't see the Barbie movie, so I I don't really have a lot of reference point with that. Like I saw the trailer and stuff like that, but um, I feel like they need to kind of stay away from doing a remake of that or having similarities and stuff. So that's just kind of my take on it, I guess. I think that's a really good take. Something that I truly do hope for if they if they do take it, some aspects from the Barbie movie is how insanely detailed the sets were. How insane oh, yeah. the clothes yeah. were, the deep cuts of any time they'd be like, this is uh, Ken's faux mink from this collection and took the art. Like, it's just kind of stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like I hope we see the genie lamp on an like on a counter and it like goes it's like sims one or something on mm-hmm. the lines of that it's- all green everything yeah. exactly. <laughs> your or, map, or your, or it's your... red yeah and, and there'll be little there'll be little things like you'll hear a sim be like hey Lindsay, what time is it or something like that like they're, they're gonna do little like references um 
But in the Barbie movie, you're saying that it's very detailed, and it is, but then they don't explain things that don't need to be explained. Like, the transition between the worlds is quite literally like a storybook it's transition fine. of them yeah. on it's a fake fine. car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it was Which cute. is okay. I'm okay it was with okay, that. Because it, cause it yeah. was campy. And, like, and again, right, like, exactly. girls playing with Barbie dolls being like, I like this one. I like it. It was just <laughs> exactly. how many... It's just a- Compilation of montage videos. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> and I knew, like, I like playing the Oscar game for during mm-hmm. the year. Like, it's one of my favorite things mm-hmm. to do. And I left the Barbie movie going, like, that was super fun. It's for sure getting nominated for production. I knew leaving yes. that movie, like, especially, like, the fact that they built those three houses for that one set, mm-hmm. the three Barbie houses, and it was like, mm-hmm. you could walk up and down them. Mm-hmm. I was like, for sure, it's going to be nominated. And that's the stuff through that production company that we can look forward to if this goes forward is at mm-hmm. least it'll look right. And the same thing with like Birds of Prey that I love, love, love. Mm -hmm. Like things like it looked right for what that movie was. But it, it, but it depends on, it depends on the setting. And I think that's important because when we think about the Sims one and the Sims two, or even the Sims three, we think of like a pleasant view. And like, we think of a more like American suburban setting, but the Sims team has been moving away from that. Like every expansion, everything that comes out is like Asian themed or, um, you know, Italy and Spain and like so like will the Sims movie be suburbia or will it be like a fictionalized Tokyo right like that's or will they bounce around between all like let's go right now and then boom all of a sudden there you're you're breaking up you're breaking up honey we can't we can't hear yeah (laughs) she can't yeah we can't yeah yeah Koki, we can't hear you. We lost you. You're frozen. We lost Koki. We lost Koki. We lost her. It's not a Zoom meeting until. Oh, there it goes. You're back. You're back. Okay, we're back. 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 Okay. Sorry. I'm in a camper RV right now, and it's not the best Wi (laughs) Fi. Sorry. That's okay. Yes, I just said I hope that they can bounce around from place to place and make it very unrealistic because that's one thing I like about The Sims is that you can go Mm. from like the sea to the mountains Mm. to the uh yeah any kind of environment in a blink of an eye so I wonder if they'll have that if I was if I was if I was the Sims marketing team which I I, I need to be but Mm. if if I was the Sims marketing team I would have the movie be a whole (laughs) new world and then I'd have it be an expansion pack you can buy Yes. So like the world mm-hmm. that they make, they would make it like an expansion and all the NPCs of the mm-hmm. movie would be in that world and you'd have that kind of synergy. That's what I would do, right? Unless it but, was that would be cool. Yes. That, that would be cool. cool. Visit it at yeah, I would totally, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's our Batu pack. Besides <laughs> the Batu pack. <laughs> Batu is great. Let's not hate on that. I don't Besides to... the I, build I, by. I've yet to play it. <laughs> I've never played it. I haven't. I've never been there. I should probably. <laughs> It's just, it's, on just, that too. it's just it's just galaxy's edge from disney i can go there right now like I don't it was cool it in i've been there once and i was like look how big the millennium falcon is that's neat and then <laughs> that's it yeah honestly though the build by though in batu is second to none the cast yeah. items for yeah. fantasy yeah. for non they're so players. good is next to none mm-hmm. so the lights the lights yeah. and the stone the floors yep mm-hmm. yes Steampunk. Exactly. Worth it for those. Yep. Exactly. Mm-hmm. The bar is so good. You guys are sleeping on that too. No <laughs> way. <laughs> you guys say <laughs> it. Um, Caitlin, what were your thoughts when this came out? I'm like, let's see if this one gets made. I don't <laughs> I don't have high hopes of this. Like, call me a pessimist, I guess, but I don't because the last one took so long. Like it just didn't get written and then it just didn't get made. I and anti- this is like what you said before, Stassi, a hundred percent possible that just never sees the light of day. It never gets mm-hmm. to casting. It doesn't get a script because they can't figure out the right way to balance it. So my I mean, my very first thought was, I don't believe it when I when it gets to the next step. When it gets mm-hmm. there, I'll mm-hmm. start thinking about it. No, I- absolutely. And again, I pass this to me as well, who's a huge <laughs> movie fan. I don't know. I hope it does. I really hope so. It takes so much to get a movie go. Like when yes. I'm surprised any movie gets made, to be honest, because of how many like different sections, like how how it has to get done and how many people are involved. Like the fact that anything happens is amazing oh to God. me. You, but we do have to be fair. We do have to be fair. 
that Warner Brothers has given Margot Robbie carte blanche to do whatever she wants. Like ever mm-hmm. since the Barbie movie blew up, like literally I, I was reading an article about it where Warner Brothers is just like, feel free to make whatever you want <laughs> and we will fund it. You yeah. Know, so, so yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Yeah. And Barbie works because, and it also doesn't, like, once the production gets started, then it's going to rely more on Margot Robbie, but the script is going to, Greta Gerwig made the Barbie, I think, work, because that had to hit so many things. So it really relies on the on Kate Heron, or whoever is going to end up writing it, if she's going to write it alone or not. Like, it's going to rely on that person. And I tried to stalk her social media to see if she mentioned The Sims at all. But it, she's professional. It's just about stuff she's done. Lame. So, like, <laughs> it, it really depends on on her more than the production company at this for the writing. So we'll yeah. see is where I'm at, I guess, right now. I agree. Rhea, did you have a question? No. Um, I, I looked up who she's co-writing it with. Oh, um, her name is Brianni Redman. I assume it's her. And um, they have co-written before for Doctor Who. Oh, oh. I'm in. Oh. I'm in. I'm, I'm in. in. I'm oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Time travel type thing. So maybe oh, we gosh. will. Maybe we'll get the whole Brandy broke. She killed her husband through a weird dimensional timeline situation. Maybe that'll be the one. <laughs> yes. <we have. laughs> oh, goodness. Um, I mean, they do have the timeline with Sims 3 being like, before Sims 2, but also an alternate reality kind mm-hmm. of. You know? And then Sims 4, what they did with like the little for the calendars, how they wrote for Don Lothar and then how they wrote the things. So I'm like, uh, we'll see. This isn't one addition. I didn't play Sims 3 much, but wasn't there an additional world you could buy that had they put Don Lothario in there somehow because of time yes. travel? River <laughs> Riverview. Yeah, yes. Riverview. So 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 the, the Sims 3 gets really confusing because <laughs> Sims 3 is set 50 years before the Sims uh two, but only certain worlds. And then other worlds were like like they would jump between timelines and it gets confusing. <laughs> it's a whole thing. <laughs> oh my. Gons, you are the coolest person in the world. <laughs> right? <laughs> can I can I grow up to be you one day? Oh maybe. <laughs> <laughs> now I do have one hope, and this is just me being greedy because I fucking loved I'm just Ken. I love that song straight mm. from the gate that should have won the Oscar. And the fact that it no. was played at the Simon. No, I think the right the right Barbie movie song one. I think I for agree. the point of the, what the movie Me is too. to have no. uh, the Ken the the male led song win. I know, I know. <laughs> but just the I, I obviously the performance. I, I hope the performance gets an Emmy. I do. He nails yes. it. Good job. <laughs> because I mean the performance did pay homage to other famous women who have done the Oscars, mm-hmm. as, such as Marilyn Monroe. So I like, mm-hmm. they right. like they did deep cut to deep cut. I don't. I just Billy. I was just song makes me feel so sad. Um, I know. Good, and then, to. Good. I know. And then I'm just, I'm just Ken. It's just it's, it's it's gonna it's gonna be last Friday night, but Katy Perry version. That's gonna yes. be like the, the yeah. titular song. Yeah. Like, but, that's, no. that's what well, it's gonna be. Darren Chris is there somehow. We don't know why. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but what I was just getting because. at is I do hope that there is a musical number. I yes. really, truly do hope that. I think that would be so, so, so much fun. Maybe I guess Andy Greta Grove. fought for that. She was like, because <laughs> her inspirations were, I think she pulled Singing in the Rain in. And like, she's like, this 100, like as soon as it came, she was like, I need this to happen. And she had to really like tell some naysayers. She's like, listen, this will be the best thing about this movie if you let it happen. And they were yeah. like, okay, all right. And it it was amazing. What yeah. was I made for? Dying in swimming pools. <laughs> <laughs> why yes. does this keep happening <laughs> yeah that that's so it depends it depends on the song right because just like mm-hmm. you said if if it is your trope disney princess introspective song i don't think it'll work but mm-hmm. if it's like a funny kind of like random moment or whatever then that that would be like introducing to the world you know what i mean like welcome to pleasant view and just like kind of oh, like big opening, going big to the big number. yeah yep. exactly a big opening number that would that would work like that'd be cool I could not agree more. Bizo, what was your thoughts when this news came out this week? I thought it was a joke at first. I like so many people sent it to me and I was like, ah, like what what is this? Um, but then as everyone else like researched, I was like, oh, this like might actually be a thing. And I have a lot of trust in the hands that it's in. Um, coming out of the Barbie movie, knowing the work that's been done on Loki, I think too, like 
being an actor and a theater kid myself, like knowing that I love The Sims for the storytelling aspect, like that's why I think a lot of other like actors, artists, professionals like love to play The Sims or like grew up playing The Sims because it was a way to escape from whatever was going on in life and just being able to like make your story, do your world type thing. I agree. I agree that I don't, I don't think that it's going to be lore heavy. I think if lore is in there, it's going to be like Easter eggs in the background where like Bella gets abducted in the background oh, of ah, this yes. scene. Thing. <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> yeah, like I think I think that'll be there, but I, I do think that it's going to play into this like this free will. Like, is it? And also, is it just like the main character is the house that's being played, and everybody else has autonomy, and they are like, oh, I want to go get on the computer, but I or like I I need to use the bathroom. I really need to use the bathroom, but for some reason I'm going to go paint a photo and I don't know why I'm painting a picture when I really have to use the bathroom. Like yes. a type of like, re- like self-realization type of thing. And why does nobody else feel that way? Um, I feel like it's going to get into this, like every story is important and we have to make choices and like what happens when we feel like we can't make those choices type of like, it's going to get deep, I think with, with the team. No, I, I agree. There. And Bisa, you, yeah, you, you make a fantastic point. This is something that I've said before, but I'm always nervous to bring it up. Most everybody who plays The Sims has a reason why they play The Sims. Like yeah. either their childhood was problematic or their current life is a struggle. There's some escapism reason for why you picked up The Sims, right? Yeah. And that's like a kind of like dark thing we don't like to talk about, but it's like a fact. You know what I mean? Um, so if they explore that, that definitely would be like deep and I'd cry. I'd cry. I'm not ready. <laughs> We're just going to call it Bruno. Bruno. We see that yeah. Yeah. therapy bill. Like, so they're, they're really just charging us for therapy. That's why they exactly. keep paying out expansion heads. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And we're just gonna like call it Bruno and not talk about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> if if the main character is like someone who's living like a really hard life and like, you know, the broken family and they're struggling and like they escape to the Sims, like I'm not ready for that. Like mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not yeah. I'm not prepared for that darkness. In I'm life. in this picture and I don't like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the hero is yourself, guys. Exactly. 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 Um, That's those are my initial okay. initial thoughts of hearing it. Yeah. Uh Katie Sims, how about you? Okay, so I couldn't believe it at first because I saw it on um, Daniel's build story and I saw Gon's posting and then I saw the Sims community posting. So I'm like, okay, like this is real, I guess. Like they're trying to produce it they're trying to get someone to produce it or help them. But I just see it just being like what Gon says. Like I see it being based on like basically what we're going through and then also I see it being free guy and a little bit of Barbie into it because like it just seems like it's gonna go in that direction and I see Sims noticing okay like I had to go to the bathroom wait why am I doing this or that that's weird I also see them rebelling against the creator and stuff like that because like, you know how we have bugs in our computers or, like, our game doesn't work? That's so frustrating and stuff. I can see them trying to play with us or mess with us. Or I can definitely see if, like, we get off the game and then they just continue on their every- everyday life. So I I see a lot of that happening in the game. So that's my take on it. I so- love the idea that they're going to like take the sims bugs and brokenness and put it into the game is like Definitely. why the sim isn't functioning or, I think that's or yeah or they have Hilarious. they have some people who are using alpha mods oh, and stuff yeah. where you can max yes. 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 Just gonna stand out. i can't wait for an overhead shot of them staring at a camera that's like up there and being like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> add tool mods somehow yeah exactly um, yes. but that and that kind of brings you know the thought of uh, of Truman Show, right? Where mm-hmm. it was like, yeah. uh, like you said, Katie, where Absolutely. like you know the Sims just continue their lives after you're done playing. Sort of like the actors just come in to do their job, and then they have real lives outside of Truman Show, or, to- or like or when exactly. the light falls, exactly. where, yeah. <laughs> right? The light falls. That could be like one of the bugs of the game, right? Like this this thing crashed, or like you know they they're frozen and they're not moving. You're like, mm-hmm. uh, hello, like what are you doing? <laughs> Everybody else is still moving. What are you doing? So uh, I think I think that that would be a really interesting thing for them to work to work in i think you have a really i think that's really smart 
So, Quick, yeah. someone right click him, right click him. Set the eggplant as the head. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and also another intake is I just want to see the trailer that will finalize mm. everything. Yeah. yeah, we're seeing all these posts on social media, but I just want to see the trailer. If I see the trailer, I know it's done. It's it's out there. The movie exists. That's what I want to see. If if it's real, you know. Join me on the so pessimist couch. Of it, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even if we saw production perfect. stills, it wouldn't be anything. Because like, there's not like yeah. an iconic Sims yeah. look necessarily. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. we would just see an actor wearing clothing or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. with plumb bob. <laughs> if I don't, if see there was a plumb bob, the heart shaped goddamn bed. In a, a, yes. a, a trailer photo <laughs> yes. or the fucking like a test shot i'm going to lose my mind they, they have it they've made it it's in the sims whatever whatever the fuck they give us it's like, coin operated <laughs> exactly yeah, but that's what i'm hoping it needs to be ridiculous like if we go with the idea uh that was mentioned about like someone going in real world into the sims walking into a diner be like yeah i'll have a burger and they just pull out like a box of slop throw it in the <laughs> oven and then it comes out a burger like that yeah, that would just that would be hilarious. And it's you know, gone. Like, you go. doing it because you've exactly done so doing it. <laughs> Don't forget the pepper. Don't forget exactly the, the pepper. Exactly the pepper. and the oil. I saw yeah, just, somebody, in a bowl somebody say if a fire isn't started by somebody making a salad, it's not a good game. It's not a good movie. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. Exactly. laughs> um, uh, Katie Sims, did you have anything else you wanted to add? No, I'm no? good. Okay, <laughs> Carrie Sims, what were your thoughts? I actually still don't know what to think about it. <laughs> I actually saw it on Instagram, then I saw it again, then my brother sent me the pictures and everything, and I didn't want to believe it until I saw it on the local news in here. Okay. And I, and I was like, okay, I think something is happening. So it's not just like someone made that up, but I still don't know what to think. I don't know what I want it to be about. I don't know if I want lore, if I want like, something similar to Barbie if I want something like record Ralph that um it was something like that like maybe the Sims know they're a video game and the bugs is because they just want to break that and they want to have free will and stuff like that I have no idea what it want um when it comes to the plot but I do want to see some things I mean if I don't see the big cake from the Sims 1 where this guy starts like dancing or the dancing cage or the heart-shaped bed or things like that I i'm not gonna cage. like it <laughs> the dancing cage I I i'm obsessed with that. the blow-up chairs just, yeah the I mean, ugly cowboy aesthetic <laughs> <laughs> i'm thinking how how they i don't know how they're gonna approach the cast part so if they're gonna go with the sims one that you have like three different outfits and three different faces and and you couldn't pick and mix and match anything or if you're gonna go with the sims 4 in which you can just personalize that a little bit more or the sims 3 if you can change the textures i don't know i just don't know what to expect um but i hope i like it because if it happens i'm gonna be watching it and if i end up liking it i'm gonna bring my whole family to watch it <laughs> Yes. I, yeah. If they if they they will not add the color wheel and texture picker. If they did that, yeah. since four fans would revolt. We would be like, no way! How <laughs> dare you? Why do they like... get it before we do? Yes. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of revolting, then is it going to be? Are they gonna have cars then? Oh god! Or are we gonna? <laughs> or spiral staircases? That's I would be so exactly. mad. Yeah. Are we gonna have Will they have the same things as our, what we have in our game? Or are, are, are they gonna get cars and we don't? Like, oh god! Yeah, so they're gonna they fast travel with their phones. Open world. Are we gonna have like different settings and maybe mm -hmm. just I don't know, like Strangerville in one place and Willow Creek in another one, in Pleasant View in another one? I have no idea what they're gonna do. I hope what Stassi says is right and we get those loading screens. Like, oh, we just yes. have to go to Stranger yes. Bills. Yeah. I actually <laughs> really, really want to see a loading screen. <laughs> I think that would only How work you... once or twice, though. I think as the movie progressed, you had you yeah. would yeah. just for the movie's yeah. pacing alone, you'd have to abandon that. But like maybe yeah. at the beginning, like the yeah. the first uh, scene, the credits, like loading screen. The loading the credits, credits are yeah. Are 
But could you imagine being in the writing room trying to pitch that to people who've never played the game? It's like, all right, guys, so from this tradition, what we're going to do is we're just going to put a screen up that just has a little plumb bob going in circles for like two minutes. And they're going to be like, well, why? Well, because well, the bug is, the game is kind of buggy, y'all. Like, I, 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 I would hope it'd be the the one, the Sims 2 one that it changed what oh, okay. I was saying. Okay. Like okay, it'd be a rolling true. one. Sure. So maybe during they, the intro. Oh, or the Sims 3 one in which you could select mm. different items and earn points and stuff like that. You get to play a game. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to see the random helping things. Like, oh, you want to be calculating spine. Calculating splines. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't thought about that one in a while. <laughs> or in, in between having iconic music being played, like build by music, other us uh, oh my god it scores from games past is or... that sims one music public domain because i hear it used randomly in play or is it just yeah. it's, it's not it's not it's not public domain but it was written by maxis and ea and they don't uh they don't enforce uh copyright oh. on it that yeah, yeah that's the thing with the sim the sims 4 is is made by freelance artists and they can enforce copyright on it but mm -hmm. but EA doesn't do that. But That's yeah, you're gonna hear you, you're gonna hear da da na na da na 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 like absolutely you're gonna hear that. So hyped during the credits, <laughs> like even if the movie's yeah. crap, well, during that mm -hmm. two minutes where it's crediting, we're gonna be like yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I I, I want to see see him go into a store and trying to buy furniture and stuff, and that the music changes to the build by yes. Music. Oh, that would be good. Something like that. Would that. Be good. <laughs> Or if kind of going back to the color wheel, not having the color wheel, but the color samples, like, no, like I actually don't need like an ugly uh, yellow brown couch. I need a um, a purple couch. And they're like, oh, okay. And just like press the button and it goes purple. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We have this outfit and, and in five colors. Which one do you but want? But they need to they need to not try to explain it. Because if they go like the DreamWorks route where it's like, oh, walk onto this teleport matrix pad in which you can stand there and our high tech uh technology can like switch your clothing for like i don't want that it's just like walk yeah. into a room and your clothes just change like yes, that's all like, that's, yeah exactly. that's what barbie did too because barbie was exactly. like that's enough you guys are you guys yes. get it you're yeah. smart exactly. no explanation exactly. needed yeah exactly no. jump exactly, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Or, oh yeah or you change your clothes stay on the ground <laughs> <laughs> like and you know someone someone's gonna get naked and they're gonna be pixelated like that's absolutely yes, what's gonna happen that's one that's exactly. gonna yeah. make it yes, exactly. yes. And hopefully they want to see that running in the background just exactly. pixelated <laughs> um, they reference the well-known mods maybe like yes because even in the game they have like you know the wicker whim sofa or oh whatever, yeah like <laughs> Oh, that's the oh, Wicked Web store. Don't go in there if you don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. man. Oh, jeez. What I want to see is challenges. Yes. yes. Okay. Someone, yes. Oh, my there's gosh, There's a yes. playing the, one the 100 baby challenge. The other one is, I don't know, playing a legacy. <laughs> the other one is the not so berry. And some builders are just the, I don't know, the one color challenge and stuff like that. I, I want to see challenges. That. Yeah. 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 Shell Shell challenges. Trying yeah. to explain the 100 Babies Challenge to people who do not play this game makes you sound like a crazy person. So I want that to be in the game so bad. Just like, it's, oh, that woman, she's on her 56th kid. And um, this person, that's, the, that's her sixth generation in that house. <laughs> the Black Widow Challenge. I don't know, but I want to see things like that. <laughs> Just a yard of gravestones. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> that's the Black Widow house. Do not go in there. Yeah. <laughs> But like yeah, yeah, this, yeah. but this is the cute stuff that kind of makes all of our games individual that I think would be absolutely amazing if that was somehow, even if it was just like a quick cut or an Easter egg, or you're walking down the street and you have the hundred baby daycare. Here is your not so berry uh, clothes store. Here's your pick out your tombstone for your for your Black Widow challenge, right? So like there are different aspects that you could potentially do of turning it into lots of little Easter eggs that us as fans will notice. Yes, Gons. Is the Grim Reaper going to be in the It has film? to be. I hope so. I hope he's a main character. Or or Bone Hilda. If he wasn't. Bone Hilda, Father Christmas. Yeah. Like it's the love story of Bo Hit Bone Hilda and the Grim Reaper. Yeah. Oh, It'll be God. canon. The Grim, <laughs> Reaper, the Grim Reaper has to be in there. It's all yeah. Yeah. Someone's going to die. Like there, You can't do a Sims game without somebody dying in a weird yeah. way. Yeah. And just yes, have the Grim yeah. Reaper show up like... Which... Why? Which in reality, you would, you know, most people think it's so morbid and you're like, but in The Sims, it's not. No. Mm. 
hilarious. But then, but then again, there there was a there was a post about Project Renee about Sims not dying or something like that. Anymore. What? What? Mm. Yeah. Boo. No. 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 Boo. 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 <laughs> that's going back to that's going back to OG Sims days though, where yeah. like they never age. Yeah. They never. The only way they would die is if you killed them. Which yeah. they have. They make, have. Yeah. They have. They have. Fun. They're trying not to like trigger people in everything that they can that that's really what oh, what it what yeah. it comes down to it's actually funny that's the reason why we don't have burglars but we have yeah. forced pregnancies so that's cool yeah that's, oh. that's telling. i feel like going <laughs> down that route there's there's a weird route of like you end up taking some aspects of the game that make it the game but i understand yeah. where they're coming from but also it gets to a point where you're like but where do you cross the line because then do you like mm. it's yeah, yeah. i mean you what if there's like setting to change, change that yeah. Oh, you could add yeah. like, yeah, and you can turn deck. off this and like how exactly, yeah. you know, that would probably be the, turn off the best a lot way. of different settings. But you and... can you can turn off aging right now, you know? Yeah, I mean? like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's you true. can do that. Yeah, and, and some and some families I just keep alive forever. Mm -hmm. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> I don't lifestyle or life. Fan. Looking at you, noodle. <laughs> I, I started with uh, Sims 2, not Sims 1, because my mom saw that people drown people in pools. It's like, that's too adult for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's too adult, because that's what happens. That's what we do. <laughs> but, or just uh, like... Yeah, sorry, sorry. It, just, just... it helped me with the concept of death as a kid in Sims sure. 2, how I saw them live their lives. Like, that was helpful to me. At least. Of know. course. And I can't mm -hmm. imagine anyone, you know, has a real life experience of a, a, a cow plant eating someone or <laughs> that happens. There has to be a cow plant. There has to be a cow, cow plant. Come, come, come to they, Canada. How are they gonna approach the it suddenly more situation? <laughs> the what? Are you imagining the pregnancy situation from The Sims oh, 1? So would you like to have man. a baby? And that's it. Or are they gonna go <laughs> with it... the Sims 2 or the Sims 3 or 4? Or how are they gonna do that? I would love to see the one from The Sims 1. Yeah, I think that would be the best one. Kiss a few Sims. times and then yes. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if they meet in one day and then by the end of the day, they have like a kid. You know what I mean? Yeah, didn't you like, guys oh, meet yesterday? Oh yeah, we're, we're married and our kids, our first kid's on the way. Or, yeah, there's there's going to be like an emergency room where like a, a woman comes in pregnant and they're like, quick, someone get a bassinet. Like, that's the only way. <laughs> <laughs> she can't give birth if the bassinet's not there. Stab. Someone who just goes, no, I'm just gonna have my kid at home. <laughs> doctor needs to t-pose though. If the doctor's not t-posing, the entire yeah. Yeah. Like, 100%. <laughs> this helps with the process. Exactly. <laughs> um, Pacific Creative, what was your thoughts? My first thought honestly so i saw it and, and i saw it in a in a news feed which is how i was like oh like i didn't have that sort of question like is this real because i actually had it like in a in a news like thing and i was like oh well, okay and my first thought was how do you turn something that's so ambiguous into mm -hmm. a movie like we use the sims to tell our own stories like, yeah. you know, and, and so uh, I was literally talking to my husband about this this morning. I was like, I just, I'm struggling because I don't understand how you take something that, you know, it, you use to create stories in it on its own and create a movie about that. Like that doesn't like register. Something isn't clicking. And I said, and like, I mean, I know they did it with Barbie, right? Because there are certain things about Barbie that are what they are you know she's a she's a feminine feminist icon whether you love her or you hate her it's one of the two you know you have barbie you have ken you have skipper you have the pink convertible you have the barbie dream house like there's certain things about barbie that are innate but then mm -hmm. people use barbies to create stories and he said well yeah but there's plenty of lore around the sims which he's learned about you know after coding the legacy app because he had to learn a lot about sims he's not a <laughs> sim player so he's every time i talk about the sims he's just like your game is really weird. I'm like, I know, but I love it. It's awesome, right? So, you know, having to look at it from that perspective, like, yeah, there is lore, right? Like that's that's what's going to make it in the end. Like that's what's going to make it The Sims. And it depends on how much of that lore they're going to throw in there because everybody does play the game differently. Just like Gon said, like there is that dark point where it, it's our escape. Okay. It's our escape from whatever it is that we're dealing with at the moment. It's a, it's a place where we get to make it, you know, what what we want. And 
everybody plays it so differently. How do you make a movie about that? So I think it's going to come down to the lore and what they decide to include and what they decide to not to. But again, that lore changes from game to game. You know, you have the one where Bella Goth has completely disappeared. You have the one where she's in the game. You you know, it, it, <laughs> how, how do you make that work? That's what I'm most interested to see is how you make that work and what you do with it. And that kind of... That kind of leads to an interesting question is, so say, so the EA team probably may not be part of it. So was ever in this movie, does that mean it's canon? Do they have to rewrite certain aspects of the story to accommodate this? Is this a, an alternate, 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 alternate universe where everything that happens in this movie doesn't matter? I mean, even allowed to use the Tony Sims if it's not part of EA. That's true. That's a good point. Well, if, if you look at something like, for example, and I'm I'm going Disney because you know, if you know me, you know I love Disney. Um, <laughs> so you, you look, I know, right? It's a shocker. <laughs> um, you you look at something like Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Like that mm-hmm. ride existed mm-hmm. forever before mm-hmm. they made it a movie, mm-hmm. and the movie had bits and pieces. But it really had very little to do with the ride itself. Because if you ever saw the original, the OG ride, the point was you found this cave and then you got your own curse that took you back in time because you saw the forbidden treasure, right? Mm -hmm. So they have since changed the ride slightly to mimic the movie a little. They tried to to change it a lot and they've scaled it back pretty significantly. But like, You know, so how, you know, the Sims came before the Sims movie. So how do you then decide to change the game because the movie came out when there's three, three, four versions of the game that were well established? I think I think if we if we look at it more like like the MCU with comic books, like it follows some of the storylines, but they also take their own liberties with those characters and like Mm -hmm. how they weave them together. So I think like it's gonna be its own entity that could pull from the Sims Lord that we already have, Mm -hmm. but I think it'll be like the Sims cinematic universe (laughs) canon. Um we'll get multiple movies about multiple townies and then it'll (gasps) it'll be its own franchise. Yeah. I I I would love that. I just yeah, I don't I don't see it. Like I, I I feel the most we're gonna get is like the characters walking by and you're gonna see a poster that says where's bella you know like that right, that's yeah. maybe what you'll get you know yeah um because everyone brings up bella but when you think about it in the grand scheme of things that's like the defining story there really isn't anything else that like stands out as being like tremendous and and i know all the little stories but most people don't and and oh. and i and i feel like really it's either going to be the story of bella goth or a sims movie that's kind of yeah. your options you know what i mean like the that, that's what grabs it... though have a pretty interesting story that in itself could be a fantastic movie but who do, do you, you think they're going to pull from the movie? sims medieval they're going to like oh. start from the like oh. I, i've been here since day one my ancestors <laughs> were the land barons of like the ancient like Game, House it's... of the Dragon. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Hey. <laughs> you're not, but you're not. You're not wrong. The fact that EA did that UK thing where they had the uh, the land grabs is also telling that they see them as like a like a staple part of their like franchise. So they absolutely could. I, I mean, if the main character is Johnny Zest, I will revolt. Like I would just, I'll, I'll lose my. Mind I, I root for one. Johnny Zest, but everybody <laughs> in the land grab family, he's like the only rootable person, isn't he? Yeah, that's yeah. bad. Yeah. That's yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> You know what you but, did, but it, Judith. Exactly. <laughs> but it, it almost most likely is going to be like a um, a female presenting character. So that's likely what the who's going to be. So if it's going to be if it's, it's either Bella or Nancy, like that's mm-hmm. if it's a pre-made townie. And know? if it's Bella, Bella storyline is about her not being there. So it can't even right. Bella's not the lead in her story. She's just the catalyst. So who, if right. Bella's not the lead, she's just there. Someone else would have to be the lead. From the right. town, Andrew, mm-hmm. true crime. Oh, Cassandra! Yeah. Cassandra could be the lead. There you go. There you go. Where's my Cassandra mom? Goth? Mm-hmm. Okay. But okay. then, are they pulling in Darren Dreamer? That's the that's the real question. <laughs> Don Lothario is mm-hmm. gonna be there yeah. for sure. Love uh, that. I love that. Uh, Noodles, what were your thoughts? Hi. Um. Well, I first heard about it on Twitter. So everything you hear about twi- on Twitter is true. So that's, <laughs> but obviously I believe yeah, it right cool. away. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm healthily skeptical about it. Originally, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, this is just another one of those like AI posts. One of those things where people are saying we're getting, you know, Hocus Pocus 3, um, <laughs> all those things. But um, 
I think the important thing, one is to just be healthily skeptical about it. Um, I think historically speaking, video game films do not do well. Um, and a few people have mentioned it already. They've been burned. I have most recently been burned by the Borderlands movie. Um, I'm a huge Borderlands fan. I'm healthily yes. skeptical about that. Um, <laughs> but uh, until we see a release date, um, I'm, I'm not going to put too much stock into things um because historically speaking borderlands was on ice for a really long time i'm still waiting for bioshock which is supposed to be coming to netflix we'll see <laughs> um why why are there so many old people in borderlands that that's what i want to know that's like, what, I they're have... all old <laughs> Gons, we'll do another podcast about that. Talk about it oh, i would love that podcast <laughs> <laughs> We'll, we'll take notes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, Taking I'll notes watch along the, the watch more read through too. <laughs> for real, for real. Um, but yeah, I, I again with also uh, Uncharted, all the things. So I think that um, I think an imp important point that was made earlier is that not everyone is going to be happy, no matter what they do. No one's going to be completely satisfied with it. Um, so we have to set one realistic expectations if it happens. Um, but two, I, I am not entirely sure both on the creative team and the audience's side like I don't think anyone's going to be completely happy with it so I could see that falling through at some point because they couldn't meet all the expectations but yeah once Good I point. see a release date then maybe maybe <laughs> that's an excellent point I and yeah because how do you do it where because yeah you're never going to make everybody happy but how do you do never it where you don't let the majority of the the franchise lovers down or at one point where do you realize that this has already been done before you know um i mean we're talking about the idea of being involved in the worlds in being sentient and realizing your purpose it's free guy that's it, literally the plot yeah, of free exactly guy. Mm -hmm. so and, and yeah the yeah, thing ahead, that Bons. we don't <laughs> sorry sorry no the, the one thing that we also need to be aware of by the way is that and not anyone here because our communities are fantastic the sims community is toxic as hell like oh. toxic 100 yeah. what do you mean yeah. what, what? what? <laughs> I, I posted i posted yeah. a video about the movie and my comments were literally i can't believe ea is spending their time and money on this instead of fixing the game as if they don't understand that this is the whole separate thing yeah. that they, and i actually had to go in there and be like listen <laughs> EA is not taking development time away mm -mm. to make no. a movie. The That's poor social media works. person who posts about there being a sale is not the person who fixed the bugs. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Right. That's the worst. Um, Disney yeah. Sims, how about you? How were your thoughts? Oh, hello. Um, oh, hi. I yes. Had, uh, hi. Um, I had similar thoughts, a little healthy amount of skepticism, I guess. Uh, but I'm going to pay whatever I need to to go see this movie. <laughs> and I think that they should have Nard say dag dag at the end. That's my yeah! only request. Okay. Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> right. Um, but like, here's another thing, though, is like, we are all simmers on this call. Like I would, I would love for us to be on there. I'd love to see Gons teaching a class or something of being like, "This, this is the lore of our a history ancestors. class." <laughs> he doesn't sound like that, Stassi. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was spot on. Spot on. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> or Nar doing Dag Dag, or Disney, you having one of your townie, one of your princess townies, walking across. But here's another thing people make their own sims are we going to see like our sims in there are we gonna see people who make margot robbie as a sim in the sims right like i mean the end like the opportunity is endless or um, characters that have random randomized casts that's yes. exactly. i hope it's randomized oh cast. Bible rings. I hope I Bible rings. Bible rings. <laughs> hats for no good reason <laughs> tights and only tights yeah, the instructions no for the extra. And then CC hair. The, yeah. Yes. <laughs> the clothes you own. Exactly. Or, or broken CC. Your sim is like green yep. in <laughs> places. <laughs> but are they well, going to... like three people who have the same hairstyle. Yes. Like... <laughs> are they? Are there going to be occult sims? Are there going to be mermaids, yeah. vampires, Ooh. aliens? You oh, have aliens. To. I mean, if Vlad's not well, in it, then... What's the point? <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Well, you kind of like, have to at this point, right? It's mm -hmm. become a, like, 
especially aliens as um, uh, bees i was talking i was like i want a, a secret mickeys or a thing i want secret aliens i just want us walking by and you just see an <laughs> alien cu fit couple just walking by it like nonchalantly right. right random alien baby just in a in a stroller right <laughs> for bad um, <laughs> yeah like this has the potential to be one of those movies that you can watch it a hundred times and every time you watch it there's a new easter egg that yes. like as uh -huh. a simmer yeah. you're gonna pick up on you know like you, i want to i want to be able to study it <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> frame by frame exactly yeah. um, well, i'll be making content about it for years exactly <laughs> it's, 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 it's time to eat everybody <laughs> <laughs> um angels of the night what were you what were your thoughts when you saw this go live um, at first, I didn't really, like, think it was true because, like, there's been circulations of stuff and everything, like, even with expected DLCs and everything, I'm like, I will see it until I have proof and actually a trailer or, like, a sneak peek of a transcript or anything on, the bit, on like, the start of the making of the movie. But um, yesterday, Nart was playing his own twist on stream about it, like making his own movie. And like the suggestions of people in the chat were actually really funny. Like about the lore and certain people who would play um, Vlad, like Nicolas Cage was mentioned. And I was like, that's <laughs> such a good idea. But I am just, I'm dying to see what it will bring, if it will come and um, how weird it is going to be from being playing game from when we were younger till now and till it being a movie eventually i'm like yeah but it's just gonna be weird that's the one word i have it's gonna be a weird thing to see the sims being a movie in this case i agree i mean the sims is funny it's goofy and everybody on this call is a simmer most of us are lifetime simmers we can sit here and say if it doesn't have this it doesn't have that I bet my bottom dollar, every single person on this call, if this movie does come out, will go to that movie. Not only that, we would be making the Sims from that movie, the sets from that movie, <laughs> the wearing the merch from that movie. Like it, like we all have our own hopes and dreams. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I don't. Yes. I don't. <laughs> I don't care if there's Bella Goth is not in it or anything like that. It's just cool to see something I've loved for over 20 mm. years get, get its time in the sun. Not only that, reintroducing people who have not played The Sims since like they were five, six, seven, kind of forgot about it, are now, if this is real, are going to get excited about it. And then we're gonna re we're gonna open up the community even more now that now that the base game is free. We're gonna have more amazing people wanting to join this community and seeing what we've already grown. So I'm I'm just excited for that and just excited for all of the amazing stuff that's gonna come from this. Now Hold on to your seats, kids. That was an hour and a half, and that was one question. <laughs> <laughs> so for the next two questions, this is a fucking free-for-all. Um, mm. We've all talked about what we want in the movie. It's come down to lore. We want this. We want that. Was there anything else that nobody, or, sorry, not nobody, anybody wants to see in this movie that's not already been discussed? Woohoo. Call yes. it woohoo. Yeah, call it, it woohoo. Call woo yeah. <laughs> like, hey, baby, in... you want a woohoo? <laughs> if it's not in Simlish, they need to do what they need to slip in some of the language. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, just like the dag dag. And this also, like, just some of it mm. in there, like, that you could be like, it's they said the thing. Well, we were talking Poor earlier about like <laughs> oh, <Nubu. laughs> uh, we were talking earlier about like the signage and stuff in the worlds yeah. and whether or not that would be in, in Simlish. Um, I don't know if anybody saw I, I it's probably a controversial film, but the movie The Machine, um, mm -hmm. which uh took place in Russia, they did this really cool thing in the film where they would have everything in Russian, but then there was like an animation where it had the translation underneath it. So they there's been like huge steps in CGI and editing. Yeah 
to make this more accessible. Um, so I think that would be really fun to maybe even just have a small translation like animated underneath it or something, or like the signs like rotate. Uh, they through. did it. They did it with the with the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Everything was alien, yeah. but then they would put yeah. it in English whenever you needed to know what it was saying or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I just wonder if they're going to take a lot of inspiration for how that like land grab retail, uh, whatever it was, pop up that happened, where like they were saying so, so, dag, dag, but they were also able to have conversations. And it could be yeah. kind of funny to like see, like, like as we're getting these, um, I forget what they're called, like the, the behind the Sims update things, and they like teach mm -hmm. us little phrases. Mm -hmm. If like some of those get played in, or like cursing swear words are all in Simlish, just for yeah. like. Yeah. That's a good way to get around like, that would it. That be so yeah. fun. <laughs> like in Firefly, where it's all in Chinese when they're swearing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or, yeah. So, like, teach me how to swear in Simlish, please, and thank you. <laughs> First thing you do when you learn a new language, how do you swear? Thank exactly. You. exactly. <laughs> yeah. I think they need the... um to bring in the welcome wagon and the fruitcake too. Yes. 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 I forget that. Right? Yeah. And then yeah. the, the people from the welcome wagon keep calling you about random yeah. stuff. And you're like, please stop calling me. <laughs> Knocking on your door no. constantly. You're well, like, no, next get time. Off the property. <laughs> I love that. And then let's not forget the first level cooks, them causing fires, oh, just random yes. fires happening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or yeah, or, or flat randomly creeping in. Oh my, what a lovely net <laughs> you have there. And I'm like, no, go away. Or <laughs> a random person dying at a party would probably be up there. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. is there always yeah. one sim dying on a party? Like, why? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, tender. The bartender is offering over. you random jobs and stuff like that. Also, I more fire the wall and there's just like a wall around a pool. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> explains why there's a wall directly around a pool. Right. When the fire happens, I need like a two minute scene of them just going, what do we do? I I, I don't know. What, what do we do? <laughs> Somebody crosses the fire to get the baby and then crosses back over the fire to leave the house. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Someone's confronted with a plate on the ground and just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> they don't know where they put it like there's on the shelf in a half, in a half wall somewhere yes. like that random builds that you just forgot to put a roof on would probably be a good or just like i forgot to do this room my bad Hold on. Fainted. <laughs> <laughs> but then i'm also curious about like the trade for example the embarrassed traits like when they pee themselves or like cry in bed are they gonna like put that in the movie as well you see a random actor just cry in bed because I was embarrassed because people saw me pee my pants and I'm like <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay cry in bed it's like, all right or like didn't your dad just pass away three days ago well yeah but it was three days ago so now I'm over it I'm over it. <laughs> it's all a really good painting so Use the I'm not saw pod. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Because it'd Where be if they get that moodlet drink. Well, I had these points. <laughs> Sometimes there's gotta I... be stuff with skills and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Leveling up. All of a sudden, I'm a master painter after like three days of just painting straight. <laughs> I was up for a promotion, but I didn't have three friends, so I did not get the promotion. <laughs> <laughs> It is. It's very cute. And I think I think that's something that I hope this movie is able to eclipse is how special The Sims is to the Sims players out there and how goofy and funny and like I it's 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 hard to describe to like how amazing this game is to everybody in the Sims community and all of the things that we want and what makes the game special. I'm, I I have high hopes. And speaking of high hopes, is the casting. Um, mm. Who is our dream cast? Oh, Gonza's stream the other day, they were talking about Sofia Vergara and yeah, Bella that's, Goth, that's and I could pick. not. That's good. So, yeah, that's oh, my listen, pick. that is the answer. Listen, I'm going to right, start that off. She's the right yeah, age. She's, she's perfect. She's, and she's, she's perfect in everything. She's just perfect. But, <laughs> um, she, but that's the thing. Bella is actually Greek. Right, oh, so she she's not Latina. Yeah, yeah. she's Greek. Oh, but... I should play her then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, so, so, but, but Bella, but so, so, can I tell you my, 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 my dream casting? Can I move into that since yeah. she started me? Yeah, yeah go, okay. go ahead. <laughs> okay, so Sofia Vergara or Catherine Zeta-Jones would make a great Bella. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. But, 
but yeah. but granted granted uh Catherine Zeta looks fabulous how she does right but she might not be the body type of it at the moment right but so great um Don Lothario by John Leguizamo which I think would just be incredible <laughs> yes <All right>? <laughs> <laughs> that would just be incredible all right uh it was said in Nard stream but I agree Nicolas Cage plays Vlad he already yes. did like mm -hmm. the Renfield movie and he was yes. great as Dracula I think he would be continuing mm -hmm. doing it by there um Amy Adams as Eliza Pancakes, yes. I think yes. would be fantastic. I have the same, oh, the same yeah. casting. <laughs> um, Katy Perry could be Lilith Vitor as like a minor like <laughs> character, which I think she would do very well on that one. Um, Caleb Vitor, the vampire, could be Adam Scott from Parks and Recreation. He was Ben from Parks yes. and Rec, which I think yes. would look good on that one. Um, I love him. Yeah, and then too. Nancy Landgrab. Honestly, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but Nicole Kidman would I, do an amazing. I have the that's same literally who I had. I have the yeah, same that's, 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 that's so crazy. good. Like, so she was Jeffrey slay. Landgrab. Yes. Yeah, she's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Those are mine. Those are all I have. I have a dream Jeffrey Landgrab. Who? Oh, who, who? And Matthew Lillard. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That's, <laughs> that would be good. good yeah, like especially that. after Five Nights at Freddy's. Like he kind of yeah. gets that awkward, like middle age. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I think uh seeing um Pedro Pascal as Mortimer yes. Roth would be Mortimer a good one. Oh, yeah. 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 Exactly you on Twitter. What I was thinking. Yep. That would be perfect. That I would was be thinking perfect. Luke Evans, because he played Gaston in Beauty and the Beast, he would be a good Don Lothario, I think, if yep. he was okay. willing to do that kind of role again. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. If mm. I would have a suggestion for one, that would be Judith Warf being played by Meryl Streep. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Absolutely. I like that. That's God. a good one. Absolutely. That would be perfect. They are twins in this case. Yes. That's the one. There was, when I was making my little list, because I was working on like a little list, the only one that instantly popped to mind was Judith Warf being by Meryl Streep. Because that mm -hmm. makes sense. <laughs> and I feel like yeah, she'd be fun. willing to do it, too. I feel like 100%. she'd be like, yes. nice. <laughs> Yeah, she'd be like, ooh, that's fun. Meryl's yeah. played some sense. If, if Jenna Ortega yes. is Cassandra Goth, I will lose my mind because she would be everything. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, that's perfect. And if she's the lead trying to find, doing, if you take, um, if you use mm -hmm. a Pacific's idea of a true crime way of mm -hmm. thinking about it, and she's trying to, if, if they do lore, that, that'd be yeah. good. She could lead. That would be. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Yeah. Sure. You know, I I really I really love Pedro Pascal and he would kill anything, but I kinda hate Mortimer Goss and I want him to be like <laughs> him still all gray oh. hair. So I don't know, I don't know who could be that, but I, I wanted to see because you all have such good opinions for casting. Tell me, tell me that <laughs> Sydney Sweeney would not make the best Dina Caliente though. Like she oh, would just, oh, oh. She, she would slay in that. I would just, I would, I would kill for that. So I just want to say, if the production company ever listens to this, we not only wrote you basically three movies, but we yeah. also gave you the cast. You're welcome. Cool cast. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> also, Everything this is what I need. Yeah. <laughs> what I need in casting is I need us to have like our weird Barbie equivalent of like the yes. weird generated townie. Yes. Played, oh, played by Jennifer Coolidge. Yes. Yes. yes, 100%. I just, a hot I, just need to hear her go, I just need to hear her go, oh, God, I wet myself again. And, like, that's it. That's the bit. Like, <laughs> oh, that would be too much. I oh, couldn't even. I love you so much. <laughs> okay, but, but if we get Stanley Humphreys in the movie and Jennifer Coolidge is there, we, we have to hear the hot dog bit, too. Exactly. So. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> I grilled some hot dogs like in the park. <laughs> you look like the 4th of July. <laughs> <laughs> but which Sims would they have realistically, though? Because obviously they'd have the Goths, they'd have the land grabs, they'd have the Calientes, but which other ones would, would stand out? I saw the on a Pleasant. Reddit... Oh, the Pleasant. I saw on a Reddit comment, so I like, think... Margot Robbie could make a good summer holiday if they wanted to throw yeah. some of the Sims 4 in mm. there. That'd be a role that she could probably take if they wanted. But the, but they can't have Travis Scott because everyone would be confused. They'll be like, Travis Scott is in the film? No. <laughs> <laughs> they should just have actual Travis Get Scott there. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I think if they're going to put in Sims 4 townies, the pancakes are... Yeah, the pancakes. Yeah. 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 Even if they're just fighting in the background of a shot, you know. Yeah. I could, it could be Bob. I could 
Who would be they should just get little Simsy and Nard to do it. It would be perfect. They look like them in real life too. <laughs> oh, I think that's just a sketch we need on YouTube. Like I, yeah. I don't even think we need it in the movie. Like I just need that to exist. Absolutely. So TwitchCon, if anybody wants to make that happen. <laughs> You're ordering at a restaurant and they're just fighting over there at a table. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to see the like to have some of the of um, our pre maids, but then like she's like Margot Robbie's a new sim, a new sim that comes, and then like Eliza Cupcakes comes with the with the fruit cake and gives her the the gosh. And that's how we're introduced to like the drama. Like, oh yeah, Bella, I think is gonna go be singer or whatever, you know. I, f- I feel I feel like Margot Robbie will play Margot Robbie as a celebrity. Yeah, somebody made her in yeah. the game. Yeah, it's like a, <laughs> exactly. a walk-on bit of like yeah, exactly. somebody made me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's right. And, and I'm Margot I'm, Robbie, but I'm a doctor. Exactly. <laughs> and she has like but slight I, like prosthetics, so there's exactly. something a little off about her. It's not quite like straight, like anything. Yeah. Exactly. Like it's right, it's a little bit off. She's got a broken mod. <laughs> exactly. And I re- and I really I really hope that they don't do werewolves from The Sims Four. Cause that would be scary. Like Sims Four werewolves, like transformed into like real life. I'm not prepared for that. I'm like just walking, running in the background, though. Just walking <laughs> dogs. I'm not. I'm not prepared for that one. Oh my god. Running on all fours, hitting a curb, exactly. and standing up. <laughs> exactly. Up. Like like Lupin from the Harry Potter films. Like I'm not. I, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I hope they have them on their cell phone running because that's always what happens to my werewolves. Oh, yeah. is they run with their cell phones out. <laughs> Yeah, or they they take their breakfast and then go for a run. With their food. Yeah, <laughs> food to go. Yeah, that that's they need to have that. They not. I know that's like off topic, but they need to have like someone talking to a sim, and the sim is just perpetually looking at their phone and just being like, "I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Like, can you like focus on me for like a second? Like, no, I, I have to. It's necessary." <laughs> I, and I think one of the smartest things they could do uh, for like the soundtrack is they release the tracks that famous artists have created for the Sims in Simlish mm-hmm. on an album. Yes. And yeah. like, you know, a playlist. And they use that as essentially the the soundtrack as well as the, the standard Sims music. But I think that that would be a really, I think I'd be really disappointed if they didn't do something like that, especially because they keep I'm... releasing it. I'm not ready for the Olivia Rodriguez sim version of her music. Like I'm not sure I'm there yet. But be good though. She... But this <laughs> yeah, this production company, like the movies that I've seen that it's done, every time I think like this is a really good soundtrack. Like every time I'm like, this soundtrack's yeah. really good. So I'm actually, if it does get made, the soundtrack's probably gonna be really, really good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Sarah, what were you did you have any casting dreams that you wanted to cast? I honestly, everyone else did so amazing. I don't even want to, I don't even want to touch it. I think that the decisions have already been made. Um, but I, I'd love the Pleasants. Um, so I, I'm wondering who everyone, who would the twins be, and why would they be Sadie Sink in a? Oh, <laughs> just doubled up. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, that. that's a. That's a good question. I think um what's her name? She plays um she plays Nebula and she was in Doctor Who. Um, Karen Gillen. Karen Gillen. Yeah, Karen, Karen Gillen. Gillen. She'd make a good yeah, pleasant. Karen She'd Gillen. make a really yeah. good pleasant. Yeah. Like the goth pleasant specifically. I forget oh, I forget her name now. Yeah, Lilith, Lilith Pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, sorry. I'm imagining a joining of the tropes of, you know, how the Sims teams look like grown ups and some teens oh, yeah. and movies and TV <laughs> shows always are grown ups. Like mm-hmm. and so I'm just thinking like, you know, they could have Bella and and Cassandra played by like the same age of person almost. <laughs> that would be good. Yes. I'd love to see that though. I would too. Carrie, how about you? Did you have any casting picks that you would love to see? No, I think everything has been said. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I cannot agree more with everything that everyone just said. So I, I don't know. I, I haven't thought of that actually. Really? I just, yeah, I haven't considered anything yet because I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to think that much about that. <laughs> no, disappointed it, by your. Yeah, yeah exactly. Fair. So I, I just don't want to think about that. But I think all the things that everyone has said is just they're really, really good options. Yes. Can Can I ask? Can I ask a question? Would you be happy if the, if, okay, which one would you prefer to see? 
the pre plumbella version of the calientes or the plumbella version of the calientes like the current ones today like which ones which one would you, you prefer to see in the movie nina looks because so they're very different in the original one like so i think then the, i prefer since two versions if i sure had yeah agreed. <laughs> yeah, agreed. <laughs> Yeah, well, like, I, I don't think I don't think I don't think they make clothes like that anymore, though. That's the <laughs> the pink cargo pants. <laughs> the <final>? What? <laughs> the white belts? I don't think they make those For anymore. Kim Possible, look. I think they're probably go find that somewhere. You know, the nineties are back in style, Gons. That's style. true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Oh gosh, I love that. The way watching TikTok reminds me of middle school right now kind of disturbs me. Oh god. So. Don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm I know. thinking about what kind of like you know makeup or whatever that they might incorporate like you know like mm. wacky you know you know because you can pull the nose or whatever push it or whatever so I'm just imagining like oh yeah walking down the street someone was really having a good time and cast with my face <laughs> 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 um Simon, or like they go to plastic surgery and it's just the cast screen yes and, oh, yeah. that'd be good um simon did you have any casts i have one more because basically i have the same casting as guns basically the same one um i was thinking dame maggie smith for agnes crumple bottom yes 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 100 yes. percent. yes, 100%. yes. Just I, I will accept yes. nothing less <laughs> i mean the name what was the name of the actor maggie smith maggie smith uh, maggie smith, smith. yeah she I might think, do I think it just because she can not... hit people with yeah, oh, I don't think 100%. so. I think I think she said that she's too old to act anymore. I yeah, think she's yeah. Retired, yeah. Old, retired. Yeah, I mean, she had a great run, though. Oh, Thank absolutely. You, think, you yeah. know, the other one that might be really interesting, Gons, you mentioned that Bella is supposed to be Greek. Uh, yes. Nia Vardalos might be a good option for that, too. I don't know, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Nia Vardalos, <laughs> she's from My Big Fat Greek Wedding. She like, oh, her! Oh, her. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, got it, got yeah. It. She and she's, I don't know if you've seen her recently, but like she's, you know, she's slimmed down. She, mm -hmm. she's, uh, yeah, no, she, I think she'd be also a really good contender for Bella Goth, especially because she's literally Greek and she's really big about the Greek, the mm -hmm, Greek mm -hmm. culture. Um, and mm -hmm. then her husband, I cannot think of his name, but he's in movies with her. He played, um, the best friend of Ian, the t the teacher best friend of Ian in Big Factory Wedding. That's her IRL husband. Oh. Uh, I think he might be a good a, a good townie too. I, I can't think of which one off the top of my head, but I think he'd also he just has such a really unique look. And I think that's one thing that we'll have to see in this movie is you know actors and actresses and just people with really unique looks because the Sims have a very specific kind of look to them and everybody looks very very different like it's not like the sims one where yeah you had like three faces to choose from right like it, it's so diverse now that it would be weird to yeah. see you know literally the same kind of cookie cutter people in the roles it is going to be weird also... to see people at different heights though because... yeah that would be strange they all need to be exact. you know they have to do something so that everyone's the same height yeah. but it, it depends on what makes the character right because when you think of bella goth right at least from the sims 4 you think of a very like curvy like prominently like powerful woman um but in the sims 2 she was very powerful but her figure wasn't really defined but again sims 2 was blocks right um so there's characters that can meet it like for example i could see gal gadot playing her well, well before everything happened but like mm. i don't necessarily know if uh i don't know if necessarily she has like the figure for it but does the figure matter that's the question or mm. does the the dress the presence the dress. you know the yeah the dress obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's i guess what you bring to the to the character right like because because mm -hmm. bella bella again bella is not just a pretty face she's like a spy she's like she's she's very like you know confident so i guess that 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 really depends on what you bring to it that's why sophia vergara mm -hmm. is the only answer that, that's what i'm gonna that's go with. i'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> yes. call it yeah. she's been the only answer <laughs> have you have you seen the movie from her from netflix where she plays like a drug lord or something like that yeah, like yeah, that's kind of like yeah, did so that. well in that it's insane. yeah and that and that's kind of how I see like the power that she brings that she could stand and be alluring, but she could also destroy you kind of thing. You know what I mean? And that's, that's what I'd love to see. I'm wondering where they're going to film it. You think yeah. it's going to be all at a, all at a warehouse somewhere that, you know, they can control every aspect. Like, do you think seasons is going to be involved? Also might it be filmed in Canada to save money. 
<laughs> the the, the other option is not Vancouver like a big one for oh, people? Yeah. Yeah. Vancouver, yeah. Toronto, Toronto, Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. Um, the other option is, you know, if if they end up working with Universal, Universal has that neighborhood lot that they did for uh, like Desperate Housewives, which is ironically the mm. same neighborhood they used for the Munsters. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, you know, they could use that potentially uh, because they do have a lot, you know, that they have big lots that they could choose to build whatever they want. But that's like suburbia, which... Mm-hmm. To me, it kind of makes the most sense because when you think of The Sims, that's kind of the immediate thing. Granted, yes, they are definitely involving more cultures and more that kind of thing now. But if they're going to hit the nostalgia points, it's probably going to be a little more on the suburbia side. And so to me, that that makes sense. Right. It also then comes down to, as we've talked about, is it going to be live action or mm-hmm. is it going to be an anime? I'm really kind of leaning towards more of an anime. And the reason is the av- like Avatar The Last Airbender, the live action show, just came out. And it's fine. Um, <laughs> but, yes, it is. Um, it is just, wow. It's just... Wow. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> to why saying it's just fine. It's really cool to see it. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. magic, the firebending. It looks campy. It looks sure. silly. Okay, there's yeah. aspects of it like like animation that you are able to animate somebody's face mm-hmm. to do whatever you want, no matter right. how much we love Sophia, what we want Bella Goff's emotions. She made, she can't do some things. Real actors cannot do some things. Sure. So that's why I'm kind of leaning towards more um, like an animation movie. My mm-hmm. only hope is whoever they cast, they're going to cast A-list stars. There's no if ands, or buts. They're going to want to attach big names to get everybody really excited. Mm-hmm. I just do not want Chris Pratt in it. No, no Chris Pratt's going to be Bella Goth. All right, Chris yeah. Pratt's going to be Bella Goth. Who's meant to play? He's going to headline the film. <laughs> he just... No, he but just, I, I agree. He he's ruined everywhere. Mar- he's, he's everywhere. And he, he ruined Someone Mario for me. And, and I don't give a... F- <laughs> like, he's playing Garfield. And he's just, yeah. hi, I'm Garfield. It's just fucking no. Chris Pratt. Because no. he's, he's, the, he's the next Kevin Hart. It's always Bill one Bill Murray person. is the voice. <laughs> no, there's a Garfield movie coming out. Okay, yes, I, I, I know, yeah, but I like that. Yeah. Even if I didn't, random... you go know. for it. I just, there was a movie where Bill Murray played the voice, and you're like, "This movie's probably not going to be good," but that was the right <laughs> choice. Like, yeah, still like yes. I'm set. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or like, it's just I don't know. Like, I'm just really just hoping that it is an anime. If it's not, it's just I don't know if it's going to have the same magic. Yeah, there's so much to it. There's so much to it. Like the deaths are so extra. Yeah. They're so campy <laughs> that you can't like you can't do it without it seeming serious. Like if someone chokes and dies in a real life movie, you're like, oh God, that's scary. You know what <laughs> right. I mean? But yeah. if it but if it happens yeah. in the cartoon, you're like, oh, that's funny or whatever, right? I hope there's a death. If someone's on time. fire in a cartoon, <laughs> it's funny. If someone's on exactly. fire in real life, it's <laughs> <a problem. laughs> no, it's not. Exactly. And <laughs> and true. ghosts, like yeah. that yeah. that will look weird, you know. Them um so so i i i think i think it's as a 3d animated film it it would it would work um but yeah that that's yeah that's thinking about it is just a little crazy i i I don't know how they would that because that that gets a lot more expensive like a lot more what if what if they show like the aftermath of it like they're not going to show them choking but like they show a scene of people just gathering around and they're just saying oh it's a shame she choked and this and that that could work mm-hmm. for live action, but the uh, anime, I definitely seen that. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it, it think... just it it just comes down to the animation. Yeah, yeah. And right. I think if they did go the animated route, then they could make the the characters look exactly like they do in the game, yes. which right. yeah, for <laughs> canon purposes, when it comes to lore, makes yeah. no sense. Yeah, if if it was animated, I could totally see like bella goth story because then you're you're dealing with like a little like adventure where you could have like magic and time travel and going into space and that works but if it's in real life it's gonna look dumb to see like a real life bella goth putting on a space jet a space suit and be like, all right let's go you know <laughs> like it doesn't right. it doesn't work you know? you'd it have to do work. it the right way i think yeah, yeah i think yeah, yeah. it could yeah. work it just it has to be done a specific way for it to work and whether yeah. or not they just they can manage to mm. do that is going to be a whole mm. other story. Yeah, but the, and I think it goes. Oh, sorry, Tani, go ahead. <laughs> I was just trying to say that if it is animation, like 
what style of animation would it be? Because we already right. have how the Sims look. Like, mm -hmm. I, I feel like it would also be we like since they're doing a live action kind of, I would expect to see actors because we already see like we've all watched the cinema movies, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. if it's mm -hmm. not that, then it has to be a person, right? Or what style would it be? I don't know. Just I could see them doing like screen capture, you know, animation. Mm -hmm. like what's yeah, the funny. art style you know like mm -hmm. that transfers to that's my question would it just look like sims 4 just <laughs> the movie if they made the whole movie like ps2 style sims 2 i would watch it like i would for <laughs> sure it'd be it'd be the dumb choice but i would watch it it's like, for absolutely. us <laughs> it's made for us <laughs> how else are you gonna okay. get the eyes right i mean exactly exactly <laughs> and if they are if it is gonna be animated are they going to use CC? No. <laughs> Why? <What? laughs> I'm just picturing real people with like those cardboard eyelashes to like. No, oh, God. <laughs> I do hope if they do go for like an animated approach that they like reach out to the EA team who works on all the animations to like make sure they're getting it right and not just because I think that's like my hesitation with with the animation is that if they don't have people who are they're not consulting, you know, the right people at EA or things like that. Like, it's not going to feel right. Like, it's going to feel a little right. off to us. And it's not going to be what we're used to seeing in our games and things like that. Keeping in mind that, like, it's a movie. Um, but yeah, it would be interesting to see how they tackle visually how they want to bring it to life. And will it be live action, animation, a little mix of both, depending on, like, what the story is? Um, mm -hmm. I'm interested. Do you imagine if the clothes all clip, like the hair doesn't, it cuts off weird and <laughs> I just doesn't look I think right. I would be sold if regardless of what medium it is, if the beginning shot was like a pan down to the city and you just saw a bunch of people walking around and they all had plum bobs of different colors, I would be like, yes. I'm gonna watch this movie. Yes. Like I'm, yeah. I'm good. Absolutely. Like, you, you've you've now captured exactly what we need to talk about. Let's go. You know what I mean? Um and what they do with it, I guess, is irrelevant at, at that end of the day. Because if the elements of the Sims are present, right, the the plum bob, the needs, um, simoleons, the deaths, the the wacky yeah. world of it, that that would be enough for me to go. All right, let me see what they have, right. And honestly, when you think about it objectively, if they do Bella Goth, they're doing what EA has always done, which is just not move forward. Mm -hmm. right That's, yeah so so they're not they're not taking that step to go what else can we do you know mm -hmm. what i mean but because on the other hand they... how true to the franchise would it be that's also like, true no you're right forward. you're right I, that's also true and and bella goth is a staple i would just, i would just love for them like the possibility of them making a movie with a different character and then that character becoming so beloved that they put it into the sims 4 or the sims 5 or whatever that would just mm -hmm. be a great kind of opportunity you know because then there's like story wrapped in it you know they're making the story they're bringing it into the world the hard you know? hope for a new <laughs> expansion exactly. pack with that you know exactly. that, that's exactly. a good marketing and branding approach mm -hmm. to to develop something new um Kanzi brought up needs which i think we haven't mm -hmm. talked about enough right um and i would love to see something in the vein of like scott pilgrim with like a pee meter oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you just, you just yes. see that like going down or like somebody's comfort going up because they sat down somewhere um i think that would be just like a cute little overlay or something just you know yeah, yeah it would be cute details. I like now I'm new to I like I need the Scott Pilgrim influence. Like, <laughs> yes. with movie. like that makes so much sense. And I would yeah. I'd be all mm -hmm. for that. Yeah. Yeah. Or like whatever. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I think there's a good balance between reality and camp that they can yeah. hit. Yes. But they've gotta hit it the right way. Um to to Great. really capture the Sims feel. Yeah. yeah. I was just gonna say, like, you know, whenever there's a specific character and something is happening, maybe we could have that overlay that's like the game that shows you know their mood lit and you know all that like that would be that'd be i think that'd be entertaining as hell so i mean i think this also goes back into the earlier concern of has it been done before mm -hmm. um so yes while we want to see it again gonna keep bring bringing back free guy they did that like if you pan over the city you see all the the, the statuses the the quests that people are on what they're doing um like that's the exact approach that that free guy did so you got to keep it separate, but still. But also there's Good there's job. something to be said about not reinventing the wheel and using a format that works because that's, okay. I mean, 
if it works, then more people are going to enjoy it too. Uh, I'm not saying completely rip it off either. No, it's tropes, tropes are not bad. And it's tropes right. that we're playing with. And tropes aren't bad. It's just, you got to make sure to do it in a way that's not like, this is the exact same story beats. You have to make your right. own story beats, but using the same story elements. I guess. Right. Exactly. Yep. Um, well, I think this is uh, probably the best part. So let's cap this off, kiddos. <laughs> <laughs> we could keep this going for another hour hour and a half of all the things um that we want i want to thank everybody for coming here today carrie has to go um so i'm gonna yes. let her do her um thank you so much for coming where can we find you okay so you can find me on youtube instagram on tiktok as well i'm carrie sims in every platform so you can find me there thank you so much for having me i had a lot of fun and uh, yeah i just I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for wanting to be here and sharing your amazing thoughts about this movie. And it's always a blast having you on here. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. 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 So... Again, thank you everybody so much for coming on here today, sharing your thoughts. If EA takes... 5% of what we talk about, <laughs> just five. It's going to be an outstanding movie. Um, I don't see this movie coming out before 2026, 2027. Um, there's still a lot of delays from the Raider strike last year. Movies are still being pushed. I could see, yeah, 2027, 2028 would probably be the soonest it might come out. Because again, there's no script. There's no oh. casting. There's no nothing. So, and this is all just saying the first script is amazing. The first actors stay. So I think this has been going to be a project we're going to see a lot about. Now, I am very curious to see during the next, whatever the Sim summits or this, whatever, I think it's what, that's what they're called. If they will talk about it, is that what's going to take it for it to be like, oh, this is a real thing now. Until then, until I see some aspect of it, I'm just going to say that this may not exist. But I really hope it does. <laughs> and here's the thing. If it doesn't, they're going to have an uprising because they got us excited. Everybody's talking about it now. They would be silly if they didn't yeah. fall ahead with it or just some aspect they play with it. us all the time. <laughs> They're like, eh. I, but I would also rather them not do it than hurry it and do it wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Take take mm -hmm. five years. Take six years. Take seven years. We're still gonna really? go see it. No matter, it, it could come out. I could have a baby by the time that comes out, and take my baby to it, and I would still <laughs> be okay with that. So, take your take your time, EA or who's ever. Margot Robbie's production team or the director doing this, please, please, if you ever listen to this, which I highly doubt you will, but please take your time. We are in no rush. We have absolutely, we have bigger fish to worry about with EA, like Project Renee and Project Dolores and all the other projects that they're going to announce that just, I don't care about, but- Whatever sticks. <laughs> yeah, well, that's exactly yeah. it, right? <laughs> So, uh, I seen this thing where it said the movie will be released in an unfinished state in honor of The Sims 4. <laughs> and I feel like that's so accurate. <laughs> the, the other, the other meme was about, about um, the Princess of Wales before she announced she had uh, cancer, oh. which was, she's, that she's, was not. Yeah. She's Bella Goth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, everyone was talking about it, making jokes about it because she hadn't been seen. And then yesterday she announced that she has cancer and it's sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The memes became unfunny very quickly. They yeah, exactly. really did. <laughs> wow. I will my favorite one was that she cut her own bangs and she needed to grow them out in that private. Was that was my favorite <laughs> one that I heard. <laughs> I'm sure she wishes that was the case. I know. Yeah. yeah. Well, everyone, thank you so much for coming here today. We're just going to do a quick wrap up and let everybody know where we can find everybody. I'm so sorry for this. It's probably going to take about a half an hour to get through. Uh, <laughs> Gons, where can we find you? You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, as my name is Gons. Um, I am a lore content creator. I make cooking videos, apparently, that are silly. <laughs> 
Uh, but you can, uh, yeah, follow me, say hi. My DMs are always open. And yeah, had a lot of fun. I love that. Thank you for coming on, sharing your knowledge and wisdom. <laughs> um, what your hopes and dreams will be for the Sims movie. <laughs> Rhea, where can we find you? Uh, I am Ricky Teak on Instagram, and I am also a moderator on the Sims 4 Society on Facebook. Very nice. Hokey, where can we find you? I am uh, Koki Creative on Instagram and Twitter and, well, X and YouTube and TikTok. And then some of the other little things, but pretty much anywhere. Just look at Koki Creative and you can find me. I make uh, Sims builds, sometimes tutorials, sometimes random playing, playthroughs, just whatever. So if you like The Sims, you might like my page. We love your page. You are an love inspiration to us all, <laughs> my love. Page. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Sims Kingdom, where can we find you? Uh, well, you can find me as Sims Kingdoms mainly on Instagram, but pretty soon back on Twitch and YouTube because I really miss playing and having company. And yeah, that's me. <laughs> I have a, a whole royal series with 12 kingdoms and counting because every world every new world in the sims is an opportunity for a new kingdom and i play with all of them and they're based on towns because we talked about them so oh my God. well i cannot wait to see when you come back with, on youtube um elfish amy how about you where can we find you so you can find me underneath elfishly amy and i'm on youtube instagram tiktok Twitter slash X, whatever you want to call it nowadays. Um, but I mostly focus on Sims builds and hopefully I'm going to branch out and do other content. And if anybody wants to do any build challenges with me, you can hit me up. I'm, I'm down for that. So yeah. I love that. Bezo, where can we find you? Yes. Uh, you can find me on Twitch, uh, Instagram, X, Twitter, um, I have a YouTube page and I have not yet posted on it, but all of those are at Bezo Plays. Maybe I'll get a video posted by the end of the year. Who knows? Um, I also <laughs> have a, um, a Sim story that I do on Instagram at Grimwood Sims. Um, so that's new and we're back to it now that Builders Games is over it's and so I like, have a little bit more free time. Ah, thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a builder. I'm a Sims player. We do some variety sometimes, dip into Minecraft with my siblings, which is a little, uh, little fun mm -hmm. time over on Twitch. But, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's where you can find me. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my God, thank you so much for <laughs> wanting to, um, be part of this. Also, you will have two podcasts in one week. Yeah. Please stay tuned mm -hmm. as Thursday, we will have a podcast as I sit down with Bezo and we talk about him winning the Builders Games this season. I'm so stoked. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> Noodles, where can we find you? Uh, I am mostly found on Twitch and Instagram. Um, my usernames are not consistent, so I apologize. <laughs> But Oodles of Noodle is apparently popular. Um, I'm Oodles of Noodle underscore on Twitch, um, where I stream mostly The Sims. Occasionally, I'll do a variety of stuff on Mondays. Um, and on Twitter, I'm also Oodles of Noodle underscore. Um, on Simstagram, I am Oodles of Sims. Uh, I also have Derailed Sims um, is my, my other story as well. And you can also hear me in Forever and Always, created by the lovely Stassi, <laughs> coming out later this year. I'm very excited. We're, we're, we are going for a November, December release date is where we are currently at. Um, I want the U.S. Thanksgiving spot, which I'm, I know means absolutely nothing because I'm not going against any actual movie. <laughs> but just to say my first ever uh, directorial debut came out on U.S. Thanksgiving weekend. I praise. I also, it's everything. Love it. everything. As, also, it just about meets the cut line for Simmer Awards. I'm just throwing that out there. Just <laughs> that Oscar, that Oscar placement, <laughs> right? I'm gonna hold best director with OMG Sims like in 2025 for Forever and Always is my current. It's on my hope board. So manifesting, a hundred percent, we're manifesting. <laughs> but thank you, Noodles. Uh, Crumpano Academy, where can we find you? 
Sorry, petting my dog with one hand. Um, <laughs> you can find me at Double Bottom Academy on Instagram. And I have a new YouTube graduated from uh, Carpet Bottom Academy to Carpet Bottom University on Whoa. YouTube. So uh, check it out. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. And thank you. For, thank you so much for having me. Of course. Again, as soon as I was like, I have to talk to you about Dreamcast. You're the, like, you're my queen of casting. So uh, Katie Sims, where can we find you? Um, you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on YouTube. Um, my Instagram is different from my YouTube, so it's just the dot like Katie dot Sims. That's the only difference. And uh, you can um also find me on Facebook too. I'm trying to create a Twitch, but I'm not there yet. So I'm also on Thread, and um I'm under Katie Sims. I do speed builds. Like I, I mostly just do builds and I'm working on a little cast, trying to venture out there. But that's all. I love that. And you know what? There are so <laughs> many amazing Twitch streamers on here that I'm sure if you reached out to any of them, they would give you the best tips and tricks. Oh, hell yeah. Reach out. Um, <laughs> I'll help. <laughs> I, I, I have to thank Gons. Um, If it wasn't for him, I would still not understand anything. And I still don't understand anything. <laughs> he sat with me for two hours trying to get me to set up Twitch and he had the patience of a goddamn saint. So well, your first stream mm -hmm. being a co-stream with like three other people was asking yeah. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just sitting there you and rocked I'm... it. You rocked it. Yeah, you did, but I was like, this is a lot for a first time going live. Thank you. I was like, oh, I can only hear myself. Like it was like Jack Nicholson shining. I would just <laughs> It was just kept repeating and repeating and repeating, and it was really loud. So I was just like threw my headphones off because like I don't know what's going on, <laughs> and I just like want to cry. Um, so I guess I'll take Dream Decor Decorator <laughs> as my kit <laughs> or my pack. Um, <laughs> but no, I am excited to get back into the drafters. But there are so many amazing Twitch streamers out there that will share tips and tips and tricks with you, or potentially anybody listening to this call as well. Thank um, you, Stassi. You're very welcome. Yes. Pacific Creative, where can we find you? Well, uh, Twitch is the main place I post my content. Uh, you can find me and the Squirrel Scouts on Twitch three days a week under Pacific Creative. I'm also on TikTok under Pacific Creative. Uh, Twitter, you can find me, Pacific Creates, all one word. Instagram is Pacific Creates, but there's a period in the middle because apparently it was a popular name on Instagram. Uh, and then on Instagram, I also have my story, Shadows in the Spotlight, period between each word i love that caitlin where can we find under the plumb bob podcast oh boy sorry about this <laughs> we're plumb bob cast on instagram and twitter um are we have we're under the plumb bob podcast on facebook on tumblr and i personally am a baby twitch streamer and i'm how i spell it when i go on to twitch so oh, that wasn't awesome. awesome. i was gonna say like <laughs> that's not that bad you also have merch Oh yeah, we do have merch. I'll, I was skipping some of it because I was like, I don't know if they want our email, but our email is under the Plum Bob Podcast at gmail.com. Our website is Plum Bob Cast, and we have a Patreon also if you guys want to check that out also. I love that. Yeah. Simon, <laughs> where can we find you? Oh my you? god. You can find me mostly in my house, but also... <laughs> I... <laughs> We're invited? Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh my god, can I come <laughs> to Italy? <Simon? laughs> of like, course, always. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, but also I'm on YouTube, I'm on Twitch, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on uh, TikTok, anything. It's Silly Simmons, uh, S-I-L-L-Y-S-I-U-M-M-Z. That's my username everywhere. I love that. Disney Sims, where can we find you? Hello, you can find me at the Disney Sims or at Towny Tales for my stories that I post about sometimes. And if you want to download any of my Disney characters, you can go to EA Gallery at the Disney Sims. I love that. Angels of the Night Creation, where can we find you? Um, You can find me under the name Angel of Night Creations on Twitch. I just recently started there on YouTube and Instagram, uh, TikTok also but i'm not really active there um and if you are looking for a uh so a safe community all about the sims by the sims for the sims uh, i have a link in my bio on instagram or send me a dm um, because we need more simmers in our safe community in this case i love that well thank you everybody for coming here today i am going to self-plug 
it's always awkward at the end. I actually had to write it down because I actually have things I got to talk about. I uh, pulled up a, I pulled up cheats. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm so excited to announce as of yesterday, I was chosen to be part of the ambassadors team for the Game Hearst community. Yay! It has been, it, it is an Ooh. absolute honor that I get yeah. to be part of this amazing community. Not only do I get to continue pushing boundaries into gaming, but also pushing forward that women have a spot at the gaming table. So it is an absolute honor that I, I've been selected and we're going to do so many fun, amazing things this year. So please stay tuned to that. Um, I've, I'm have i also in, so you think you can cast. I didn't make it far in the draft wars. So I was like, you know what? I think I can cast. But then I, as soon as I'm like, without CC, I'm like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I guess what? I'm also yeah. in that. I just, I forgot. <laughs> there you go. So, so you think you can cast? That will be coming out on April 1st. Uh, please stay tuned. I will have an exclusive written interview with Witching Mermaid as we talk about. Uh, so you think you can cast. Um, this is a little break. Uh, I'm on a little break right now from season two to season three, uh, but we will see bonus episodes uh, between now and the fall. So please stay tuned for those. Um, in the meantime, though, there are, will be written interviews every Wednesday um, and every Saturday I have brought in back story spotlights. So please stay tuned for those as well. If you'd like to catch up on the 210 episodes I have of this podcast, please go do. I am on every streaming platform that you can think of to find a podcast i am there there are some i didn't even know existed and i show up so kudos <laughs> to that uh please go check out my youtube pay channel i mean it's just podcast stuff or if you want to watch my very cringe task videos because they're pretty cringe uh go check those out uh i have a story on instagram called the rose chronicles that is back with new episodes every sunday so please stay tuned for that i'm very excited i'm coming up to three years next month of wow. releasing that so thank you guys so much for thank you thank you so much who's been my ride or die since day one have stuck with me so thank you thank you thank you um and please go support everybody who was on this podcast they're absolutely amazing creators and our community wouldn't be the same without without them so please show love to everybody and i hope you everybody on this call had such fun and i hope like i said the sims movie takes five percent of this podcast and makes it a reality um and i know uh, i will be talking about this as every update will be moving forward um and when the script is made i will be doing another round table and so forth so if you didn't get the chance to make this one there was a lot of people that just didn't get to make it in uh, due to time because I decided this on like Thursday morning as I was on my way to work that I sh I need to do a podcast about this. Um, there will be a lot more opportunities. Uh, if you're also listening to this and you want to be interviewed by me, please email me. Um, spots are open for season three. If you want to do a written interview beforehand, spots are still open for that as well. So there are opportunities to get everybody's work show. So thank you everybody on this call. I love you all. Thank you for enjoying this craziness with us as we go down this rabbit hole of what we hope the Sims movie will be. And I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Bye everyone. Thanks, Bye. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye.